Yo, yo. What's up, man? Yes, sir. Going that on. was Sugar Free? Yeah, that was, that was Brother Sugar Free. I knew yeah. that was you playing that. Big, big right. Sugar Free. Nah, that was that's me. Big sugar free. That was you? Sugar. Okay. See, that, that, that's big a problem. Free. The West, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, man. Yo, yo, no, when he said, make sure you take everything so that's how you're not coming back. You know, you know, girls, you leave and shit. So I was like, <laughs> this nigga funny as fuck. Uh, don't, don't go look in the closet. You got nothing in there. <laughs> yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Y'all tap, y'all tap in with Brother Sugar Free, man. OG in the game, man. man. Real, real pimp shit. Niggas don't know. Real pimp shit. Niggas don't know, kid. Yeah, I'm tapped in, cuz. Yeah, I ain't know. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, blade work. Skin, 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 nigga. You already know I'm tapped in with cuz. Yeah. All right. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Another week. Another another Friday. You know what I'm saying? Weather is... Uh, that ain't bad. Where Cal at, man? You know what I'm saying? Where Cal at, yeah? Where Cal at? Brothers is here, man. We in the building, man. 40th episode anniversary, man. I know y'all asking, why the hell do we need an anniversary for 40 episodes? Don't ask me, man. Ask the creator. <laughs> and brother Luke. Ask, 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 ask Uncle Joe. The producer handles all this behind the scenes. Yeah, Look, all we do is show up. We the talent. The yeah, producer yeah. says it's that 40. That's how you work here? <laughs> I just, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a talent. The brothers say show up. It's the 40th. I show up. You know what I'm saying? It's the 30th and the 40th. It's the improper fraction. You know what I'm saying? Man, we got 40 episodes of just straight cringe and all type of shit, man. Like, just, just a whole bunch of shit, man, that I could go back to and laugh and <clears throat> cringe at and all type of it's It's just a lot, man. But, uh, we finna start, man. We finna, finna, finna start it off, man. I done did the hardest crimes without doing the hardest times with a cold biscuit and my best top. Martin mom. Like, ah, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I ain't gonna lie, nigga. That was, that was, that was cold, nigga. He's a nigga. I done did the hardest cold. crimes without doing the hardest times. With a, with a cold tummy and a cold tummy, my best biscuit. Water miles. Water miles. Yeah, that was my nigga said twelve out the alley. The water very high. Okay, twelve out the alley. The way he said alley. The way that nigga said twelve out the alley. It's gonna be a. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm a faculty nigga. I've been me. Hold on, wait. No cash. No cash. Supreme shot. No cash. Okay. Yo, 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 Kujo, yo, Kujo. Yeah, I hear an yeah. echo. <laughs> That's what we're going to start at, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kujo, I got an echo. <laughs> we starting here? I ain't going to lie, bro. I've been saying, uh, that, I've been saying that, that that Tommy Bar nigga all day, nigga. Yeah, I had to uh, throw it up with that. I've been saying that shit all day, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro, that brother Ooh. needs to learn a lesson, man. You know what I'm saying? He like, won. Yeah. Learn what? He won. He won. Yeah, Reaper right, Recycle. Yeah, let's start there. Let's nah, start here, Kujo. Start let's, start here, nah, Kujo. let's start here, Kujo. Let's start here, Kujo. Starting off like that, brother. Man. All right. He recycled, let's start here, man. Kujo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead with Robin. Go ahead with Robin. Lost that. 40th episode he anniversary. We in the building. We finna start off right. You know what I'm saying? No ridiculous lying and cringing, man. None of that nonsense Marabi trying to get on, man. Harlem legend lost. We finna get it. We can finish start off with the first. But Reaper top. recycled. I mean, if Reaper recycled, it's a it's a wash battle. Then they both lost. All right. And listen, man, we not we not. Let's no. get into the top. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. I see what you're doing, man. I see what you're doing, man. Every episode, man, trying to get some bullshit off. Man. It's all it's all good, bro. It's all good. Man. <laughs> <laughs> he was going on, man. But, 
We gonna so, yeah, on, like, on, like, on, this, on this topic, man. So we gonna start it off like this, man. This is actually a rehash yeah. convo, right? A rehash heated convo from like the other day. You know what I'm saying about you know what makes a legend in hip hop? What consists of a legend? And uh, the question that's coming to me, man, because you know, brother KRS. Was man, just say it, man. Marabi said fucking Lord Banks a legend, man. Just say it, man. We ain't got to go all the way around the fucking place. Man. Let's just get it out of there, man. Fuck that. God damn, Kujo. God damn, man. Let's go, man. He was trying to roll it. Damn, Michi. He was trying to roll it out right there. God damn. Bro, he keeps rolling it. Bro, he keeps rolling it. We know the answer to that. Lloyd Banks is not a legend. So we're not going to rehash that. You know what I'm saying? He is. But he's not, man. We're not we're not doing that. I, I, I do wanna say though now, I do wanna say though, like like rap yeah. legend is like you can you can critique that in like a bunch of different ways, you feel me? Like ain't no like ain't no standard for a legend, like you feel me, in hip hop or like in rap, like ain't you know, no like every, 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 everybody got their There's different not. like everybody everybody yeah, has I mean, their different bro, everybody has their different qualities that makes them legendary, bro. Like it's not like like you feel me like fucking Wayne, Wayne different from fucking Nah, Nah different from Big, Big different from Hot. Like they all different. In that, in that we we have standards for legend, King. We're not finna do that, bro. Come all on, the not that powerful. All the brothers, all the brothers you just named were legends, though. Like what are the standards? You, you what, 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 what are the standards, though? They're, they're, they're all legends in different rights. Like, like you feel me? Like they're all legends, but they're got they all Let's different start accolades, that, all different rights and shit. Like you know. Yeah, I'm going to break down the standards so, so y'all can mm-hmm. get an idea. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, look, hip-hop is uh, arguably, like, what, 50 years old now? Uh, mm-hmm. Many people come in, early males, you know what I'm saying? The UF, UTFOs, you know what I'm saying? LL, you know, you know B and them, you know, Nas, Ho, Big, you know, Nelly, Luda, 50, you know what I'm saying? So, to Kendrick, all the way to now, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you got legends of the old era, you know what I'm saying? The golden era, if we want to say. The classic era, you know what I'm saying? New hip-hop era, got legends too, man. So, uh, you know, longevity, impact, influence, uh, you know, sales, uh, all of that. So, you got to check off at least one or two of these boxes, man. At least, at least maybe, maybe three minimum. And things don't check off two of those? Two of those? Hell no. No. See so what I deal no. with? See what I deal with, King? Not he even got the platinum, he, got, he got the platinum, like, he got a platinum shit, my nigga. That, that's a yeah, drop. Got a, yeah, he got, he got one of those as far as sales. He got, like, one platinum plat. A G platinum. unit? That counts? No, it doesn't. Yes, it yeah. does. He was in the group. Hold on, hold on, man. Listen, man. No. <laughs> Let it happen, bro. Let it happen, bro. I see what you do. Let it happen, bro. <laughs> Is man, I'm trying to go I down brought a, health today. I'm, I'm trying to go down the line for nigga. You want to talk about low? We're not finished sending. Oh, we man. got you, Marabi. All right, all right. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll cash up you later. Uh, I mean, New Yorkers in yeah, bro. I'm trying to be as fair as I'm trying to be as, as objective as possible, man. Really think about this combo, man. Really, really, really think about it. We're talking about like. All right, do, do some of these brothers have like a legendary mixtape run? Do they got like a legendary album run? Do they have uh I don't know endorsement deals? Do they did they somehow affect hip hop in a way where it just changed the genre, the trajectory of hip hop? Like what you know what I'm saying? Like shit that really shifts the culture completely. Okay. Like where where shit is kind of like you can't even doubt that shit. Right? There might be people who have legendary moments. They'll have legendary bars. You know what I'm saying? They might be a part of a legendary movement, but they're not necessarily legends. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, Vanilla Ice, uh, I, I, you know, whatever. He has a song that's considered legendary, Ice Ice Baby. Is Vanilla Ice a legend? No. I mean, if KRS, nah, we're not doing that, man. <laughs> I'm just playing, man. He's really trying. He's you really realistic. trying to get this to Russell. You gotta be realistic, man. We, we, I'm being like real, realistic. Really think about it, man. 
Vanilla Ice is not a legend, right? Run DMC are legends. Beastie Boys are legends, right? But what about, you know what I'm saying, brothers who might be a part of a group or an individual rapper who might have, like, one good album name drop in 15 years, but their album is the test of time enough to maybe arguably be considered a legend, but they're not necessarily. What category do you put them in? Almost legends? It's either you are or you aren't. You know what I'm saying? That, that's just how we, we, we see it in this culture. Now, some people, you got different categories of legend. You got regional legend, you know what I'm saying, where somebody might be considered a legend where they're from, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, but they might not be considered a legend overall. You know, that might be someone like a, a if I had an example. Banks. Uh, <clears throat> I say Mace. Banks. Banks. <laughs> nah, not Banks, man. Man, I really love Banks, man. We can't. <laughs> nah, nah. On, um, what I do want to say is like, yeah. Okay, so what's like the what's the line? Like, who's like the closest nigga? Like, teeter in the line from legend, legendary. That's uh, like the only way to like to like scope this shit out to scale it out. Hmm. I see what you're saying, King. Like, who's the like, who's like, the uh, who's the precedent? Who's gonna be the guy that you be like? If you're not better than him, then you're not a legend. Hmm. Nah, like, like 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 who 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 on like the who, lowest and being a who legend. On the lowest of like the legend tier is like you know like right there at that line, my nigga. Like, who is that nigga? And then we can like pick up from there, like you know. So, I mean, we got the undeniable legends, right? So now exactly, we talking- exactly like yeah, like who was like the last like nigga closing that door on niggas? Uh, uh, hmm. If I could think of somebody who isn't necessarily a legend, but they were a part of a yeah, ever that was legendary or stuff like that. Uh, mm, that's so tough. That There's really a couple about things. That. Yeah. Um, um, hmm. Y'all might not know him, but. I don't know. I don't know offhand. I, we'd have to. We'd have to talk it out. We'd have to go from top to bottom. Yeah. For real, for real. Big Noid, right? He was in Mob Deep, right? Uh, dude is not a legend, right? But he was a part of a legendary rap duo or rap group, really. Mob Deep, right? You got Prodigy, Havoc, both are legends. Legendary rapper and producer. Then you got a legendary rapper. And then you got Big Noid. I got. I got to add one. But he's not a legend. Oh, you got one, hey, Bruce? Bruce? Yeah. What up, Bruce? What's up, y'all? I was thinking maybe, um, what about, how y'all feel about Royce the 5'9"? Ooh, or, okay. Or his job, or, yeah. Royce the 5'9". Because we know, like, who he affiliated with. Like, we can't deny, good, like, his status, though. That's a good pick, Bruce. You know? Damn, this nigga come in shooting from half. I feel like Royce redeemed himself with this last little run exactly. he's had. So exactly. now I would say he could be considered locally, maybe, at least. Yeah. But I, and Royce, I don't know. I see what you're saying. Uh, yeah, the group album. You know, the group I compare album. Royce to like Nicky Fax. Like Nicky Fax is a legend, right? What? We, we would all say it. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. I, huh? Huh? I put in the Nicky Fax. Type you know, word. Oh shit! Royce the five, this is shit. Royce the five. Nah, I put Royce in that Nicky Fax era like that. That no. same like pocket. Like, they the same nah, nigga. Ahead, they the same they, nigga to me though. For real, for real. Say what you said after that though. You said that. What you, what said, you mean? After that, you said. What I said. What I said though. You know said a legend. What he, he said he's more of a deep. I said yeah. Rap legend. So he's yeah, more like or really city for real. And nothing. Is, yeah, Mickey Mickey Fax is not a legend. I don't. I don't. We're not doing that. Um, Mickey is a legend, dog. No. Legend. no. What? Wow. Now, now he is. Now he he's is. Doing what? He's doing shit, he's Phil, doing shit outside of rap. Yeah, no, nah, I can't. Story, shit of rap. I want to know who Mickey was, my nigga. That nigga didn't. That nigga didn't break no room in my house, nigga. Off music, nigga. I seen that nigga on the back of snacks, bro. Yeah, okay, yeah, he didn't do that. Too. He, did, he didn't one. do that, but yeah, hold he on, got a hand in a lot of shit, though, bro. 
That's the that's, 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 You know what? I'm going to let you know. We're not finna center Mickey Facts, man. No, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm with Robbie. Mickey's up. Just because it ain't been in your face, just because it ain't been in your face, don't mean it ain't. He's a legend. Lloyd Banks is a legend. Both of these guys are legends. Lloyd Banks is a legend. It's about to go left. It's really about to go left. He got, uh, he got, he got, he got chefs, he got chefs on, di- you know what I'm saying? He's chef in different eyes on the, on the stove. That's all I'm saying, that's all I'm saying. Y'all might not, y'all might, y'all, I, I understand. It wasn't in y'all face, y'all don't know, but y'all have to do y'all research and read up on Mickey. brother. Y'all be like, oh, okay, he got a lot of shit going on. Okay. Yeah, 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 whatever, nigga. Mickey's, Mickey's are you saying yeah, battle rap legend, uh, Phil? Are you saying battle rap legend? Or are you just right, saying man. legend? Yeah, you know, no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying he's. I'm yeah. saying he's. I'm saying he's a. He's one of those borderline people where you would say, I don't. He could like, just like everybody in just, just like everybody in here was just like, what you mean? He like he ain't no legend. He ain't no legend. Legend. That's what everybody was saying to him. So. Can no, I he is, Phil, I'm not he is a legend, but he no, might be. He, if you look at the, if you go and look at his resume, he might be like, he might be like, nah, the nigga might be. Let's stick to hip hop, though. You know what I'm saying? That's the album. That's the album. I know battle rap is a part of hip hop, but let's let's focus on. Like, I see Brother Ty wanted to make a case for 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 Royce, so. Well, not no, I, I actually, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I, I want to respond to Phil's crazy comments that we're letting him spew on this 40th episode. Uh, Mickey Fax is definitely not a legend. He's definitely not a legend. Uh, you know, he, he's gotten some he's gotten some accolades on like the independent rap scene or whatever. Uh, I remember him being featured in Double XL back in the day, but a lot of people have been featured in Double XL. He's not a legend, man. Like we gotta uh, check that out. That's, that's number one. Now, now we go. Now, <laughs> now we go. 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 Now I make, I'll make my, I'll make my point quick. I'll make my point quick since we got a full house. Man, shout out everybody that pulled up. I was going to make a case. I don't think you have to consistently do things to be legendary, and it don't necessarily have to be like seven or eight milestones in your career. You could do like one thing or have one impactful song and be a legend. I was going to make a case for somebody like Sir Mix a lot, right? Uh, he, he had maybe two or three hit records, but the one that he's best known for is Baby Got Back, which if I'm not mistaken, he wrote and produced himself. That song has been played on so many different commercials over the past 30 or 40 years. Sampled, uh, redone, I see it in cartoons, a lot of these movies that my kids watch, little kids movies, like they got it in, in the cartoons somehow, like, I would consider that brother a legend. He's still eating off that song, that one song. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I would consider that brother a legend. I don't think he's questionable, though. I don't think he's... But I'm just using using it as an example. Like, that's somebody that literally had maybe one or two hits. But that's the one thing he's known for. You know what I'm saying? He didn't do anything crazy after that. He didn't have, like, seven or eight platinum albums or anything like that. It was just that one huge song. I was also going to make a case for... uh, Hold up, brother. I was also going to make a case for for my boy Melly Mel. Uh... The Furious Five, that song, The Message, that dropped like way back in like 82. You know what I'm saying? Junkies in the Alley with the baseball bat. Like that's also been sampled so many times. And that was such an impactful record. I can't name anything else that that brother did after that. I'm pretty sure he's got work after that. But that one album changed hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I would consider that brother and his crew legends. Uh-huh. That's all I wanted to say. I'm going to mute up. <laughs> because that might, that might be where we need to start it at, though. We talk about because 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 King posed the question of we have to start the baseline at who you think are borderline legends. Like we know who the legends are, so now we got to go down the list and be like, okay, well, who are these guys and who are these guys and who are these guys? Like everybody don't have a case when you keep going down the list like that. 
especially right. if they got a classic record. If they have a classic record, there's something that's got to be put in. The, I feel like they, you got a song that's got to be put in the hip hop, uh, uh, Smithsonian. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to. I see what you're saying. I mean, if you are a one hit wonder, but that hit spans three generations. It takes the time. Right. It's like, yeah, you could, you could, you could make an argument. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could, you could make an argument. Cause I, I did say everything included, but it don't mean you got to be consistent when it comes to everything being included. It's not like we heard a Melly Mill album in fifty years or forty years or so. Like, but we know he's a legend. You know what I'm saying? We know Sugar yeah. Hill Gang are legends. You know, uh, you know, nonsense aside, but. We're not gonna talk about that because that's Jersey. But anyway, Vanilla, Vanilla Ice, <laughs> Vanilla Ice is not a legend, but he has a legendary song that has to be See, put in the Smithsonian. I would pop uh, Smithsonian. Vanilla Ice. It's got to be put up. I would Vanilla he, Ice. He he, he isn't um, a legend, but he, that he song. Is. Has nah, to be put in the Smithsonian. Right. It has to. Vanilla right. Ice is a certified. Yeah. It's got to, bro. Don't yeah. do this. Don't I do this. I think just for that and the name alone, man, I feel like Vanilla Ice is up there, man. That's a fact. Nah, he's a legend. Unfortunately, he's a legend. He's a legend. <laughs> bro, as much as niggas, as much as niggas want to punch on the white boy, it's like, bro, like. Bro, oh, that nigga performed at the Yo, end of Yo, really at the end of Ninja Turtles. What'd you say, bro? Right. Thank yeah, you. so one song could do it sometimes. Yeah, yeah, think like one hit song could make you a legend. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Facts, right. legends, legends. He did right. do that. He did do so that. One hit, one hit song can make you a legend. What'd you say? I, don't know. I say so. Uh, one hit song can make you a legend. I think so. I told you that man survived. Yeah, the impact. I mean, over, impact over the and all that shit balcony, too. Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I agree with that though. That man, a legend. That was allegedly though. Nah, but he got. Nah, allegedly. he. Nah, he survived. That was a puff move. He didn't survive that. That was him. That was him trying to some. Like that was him trying to get his life. Like nah. The brother I mean, getting started, man. The brother <laughs> allegedly a legend. That nigga walked. My brother walked away from that, man. He walked away. He did walk away from it. Yeah, that's why oh, you get into it, boo. He came out of that. Nigga made it home, man. He made it. Home, yeah, home, man. Yeah, he made it Home. Are we talking about Death Row Shug had this white man on the <laughs> balcony. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he and a legend? And, 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 he one legend. Nigga, and one oh, nigga oh. life is ruined and my nigga Vanilla Ice still outside. That's a fact. He's I'm, a legend. I'm a, he's Yo. definitely a legend. He's a legend, man. I'm going to tell you why, too. Not only wow. what Boom was saying, which is, pow- which is powerful, because let's not forget mm-hmm. Ninja Turtles and first. The first two movies broke records. Let's not forget that. Yeah, that's, crazy. Crazy. That's, why that's a big deal, him, him performing those movies. But even yeah. the rollout that they had for Ice and Hammer at the time, I know I'm about to show my age, but Brothers was some of the first guys to really capitalize, like as far as on the commercial side. Brothers is too young to remember. They rolled out a whole movie for Vanilla Ice. He had a movie called Cool as Ice that Thanks. came out in movie theaters, mm. I think in 90 or 91. That's and he was, called, he was called all kinds of corny and Sell out and commercial and this, that, and the third. Now look where we at in right. 2023. Brothers got all kinds of movies and did all kinds of straight to DVD stuff and yeah, you rolls on. Us. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Kid and play too. They 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 was in that realm as well in the early 90s. Not saying we question like their legendary status, but they took a lot of heat from underground rappers and and, and gangster rappers for being commercial and soft and all that. But they was ahead of their time, man. They was they they was getting that commercial money. They was doing movies. They had a cartoon. They had toys. Like, come on, man. Like, brothers got to recognize the Susie. innovators, man. You call it him an innovator? I'm not discrediting. Right. I'm not look. I'm not that's discrediting right. the work though. That's my whole thing. I'm not discrediting the work. Hey, 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 do you? That's the thing that still kind of claims legend to me now. Is like, bro, vanilla, vanilla Ice's name still echoes to now. Like, you still hear like Vanilla Ice being mentioned in certain situations. You get an Eminem without Vanilla Ice. Yeah. 
Yeah, because yeah. No, I think you no, do. I think you, you do. No, I think you do. Um, yeah, I think you still. Nah, Thanos, you just nah. He he be different. Wow. He be he still be different. He be yeah, different. He grew up in Detroit. Wow. Like he be different. He be no, that person that like like nah. You can't, you nah, are. bro. But I mean, you still ain't said that, y'all still ain't told me nothing. But go ahead. Eminem <clears> wasn't inspired by like. That type of like main. No, it ain't even. See, see, okay, I see where y'all misdirected at. I see, right. I see what. It ain't even like, about. Oh, so you saying? So you, hold on, hold on, hold on. So all factors considered, you saying Eminem growing up in Eight Mile, Detroit, Michigan, mm-hmm. wouldn't be the eight, wouldn't be the Eminem that he was. If all bro. things considered, would be going yeah, on. He was like, oh, get into that, man. I didn't even. Come say on, though. Like, what I are you right, saying? He didn't, bro? Say, didn't, he didn't even say nothing I, yet. I didn't, even say, I didn't even say he wouldn't be the Eminem that he is. I asked, do you get Eminem without Vanilla Ice? The reason why you do not get an Eminem without Vanilla Ice, kind of go, p- p- going off of what Thanos was saying, Vanilla Ice was the, white, was the white rapper that really broke down commercial barriers for a person of his color that wasn't dominant in that arena. But what about the Beastie Boys, though? They're legends, man. I'm not no, about like, that. They're, they're from legends. Sure, but like, they, they were race, breaking those same boundaries, like, too. But, um, but, but hold on. But you, would, but you would say the same okay. thing about that. Hold on. I'm glad you brought that up. Because you mm-hmm. would give them the same credit as well. Uh, being Because right, there would be no vanilla ice. There would they're, be no vanilla ice. But, but, but I never Beastie said there. But I ne- mm-hmm. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. But I never said there wouldn't be a vanilla ice without Beastie Boys. What I'm telling you is there wouldn't be an Eminem without Vanilla Ice. It's a lineage of, uh, and, and let's make it clear. Uh, shout out to Beastie Boys and them niggas. They didn't have movies. Uh, mm. let's just, let, hold on, hold on. And, let, and shout out to Beastie Boys. They didn't have a bigger hit than Ice Ice Baby. Let's keep it 100. Mm. Like, mm. So, yeah. Patch your question, boom. What's good? Do you think Vanilla Ice had a more impact on Eminem than um, MC Search? Oh no, even Rock Him, like his biggest influence. See, I, I think he had. Ha- see, my, what I'm saying, Quiz, is that what, think, what I'm though. saying, Quiz. I'm saying, I'm saying it's a, it's, I know it's what I'm saying. He said he wouldn't be accepted by the majority. It's, it's an inadvertent impact. Whether you're inspired by him or not, him being right. there, it it opens doors for you. Yeah. So whether you, you have the lane. The precedent is there, as they say in law. The precedent is there. That's what Boom is like. Yes, the precedent is there for white rappers to be successful. So, I, 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 boom, I see what you're saying, bro. You're saying he wouldn't have been there if the lane wouldn't have said, because that's what, because that's what I just came to. I was like, I said, well, he wouldn't. Vanilla Ice wouldn't be Vanilla Ice without the Beastie Boys or MC Sykes, like Quizzle brought up. Like he wouldn't. He, he his lane wouldn't have been there if them brothers didn't do what they right. did, and right. and then his lane opened up, and like you said, he had a movie, so now you get Eminem, and he blow up just you know yeah, based yeah, on you circumstances, got, you know, and, you got, and then he get a you movie. Vanilla Ice, you got Vanilla Ice with the blonde hair, with the blonde and brown mix. What what Eminem was on the blonde hair, like he doing look, he doing dances on stage, like yo, brothers really. Yeah, he was really putting that work. Ah, I'm ah, basically, ah, I'm, I'm struggling to call him a legend. I think his work is legendary. I don't think him. He, I don't think he is a, ah, his name, his name, is his name. That's all. That's what I'm saying, yeah. man. His, yeah. his yeah. name is anonymous to all that. You feel me? Like, his name oh, is he not. Is a legend. You got to take that with it, Phil. I feel you, but you got to take that with it. His name is synonymous to all that word, man. I'm yeah, really a legend. like for that because like I'm just based, like I'm just basing all this off of like his own words like if it wasn't for did. the Beastie Boys, I can not do it. God, no, see what you talking about, Bruce is who Eminem I'm bad. I'm bad, Bruce. inspired inspired him, uh as far I'm as bad, he, as far as who he like, who he think is nice that are, and I'm not denying that. I'm not taking away <laughs> from that. But whether you mention Vanilla Ice or not, nigga, you are a part of that nigga lineage because the sa- a nigga that looked like you, white, was in the game yeah. before you doing big level shit. So yeah. if he was doing big top of the 
top of the top shit. Like, let's not act like Vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice was him. You brought me back with yeah. Yeah, you brought me back with that Ninja Turtle shit. I was like, damn, like, I got before Eminem, that before, Eminem, you know what? before Eminem was the top, you know what I'm saying, considered top rapper in the world, That's there cute. was a period of time where Vanilla Ice might have been the biggest rap superstar in the world. This is but a why, fact. But why this was around that? the time that he was in the same era as MC Hammer and Right. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's what I was gonna go to next. Really? Like why I say nineteen ninety was really like the the be- and I said this before on uh, when we <laughs> feel me Thanos. You really um, yeah. that's arguably yeah, really going up against like, another heavyweight like, like nineteen ninety was a like, big ass year for hip hop, bro. The beast yeah. is cause um the vanilla ice was going up against niggas like Coolio and shit. Prime cool like niggas. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but would y'all put Hello like was up against ice? Beastie Boys. He was up against Hammer, Gangsters, Gangsters Paradise, Coolio. Stop yeah. playing. He would have won the. He would have won the battles though. Boom. What? <laughs> he would have won the. Come on, dog. Hold on, really? I got, hold on. I got. I got something for you. He was. He said he was blown out. He was blown out. I got something for you. I'm saying. Uh, you uh, saying? Yeah. Yeah. He was in his time. He acted like he was in his time. No, the nigga was a little bit ahead of him. He was a tear. He was a tear. Bruce, 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 Bruce had something he wanted to say real quick. Go ahead, Bruce. Yeah, no, I was just saying, like, would y'all put um, because when like when you say like amongst like one of the like top like rap stars, like would y'all put Vanilla yeah, Ice in that same, you know, category as somebody like um, what's his name? Um, damn, from Digital Underground, you know, with the like whole um, Shock G? G, yeah, Shock G, my bad. You know, like they're not, the whole... not in the same discussion, though. and that's no disrespect to Shock G. Yeah, but not in the but, same. But you see, like where I'm coming from, like with the whole like um. The like Madden the type image, rap. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we have like, probably proper, but, 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 but they're not the same stature. But I see what you're saying. Uh, yeah, I kind of see what you're saying. Because when I'm starting, to, I'm like, starting to see what y'all saying about yeah, uh, what's considered a legend. There's like no one way. Right. I kind of see what y'all saying now. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what I was. That's what I was kind of saying. Like during okay, the stage, like, you know, like you can't like allocate. You know, everybody's in legends in their own rights. You know, like you, it ain't no one way to this shit. So if that's the case, what makes someone not a legend then in hip hop? Exactly, Kuja. They've well, their name's not Lloyd Banks. Oh. Pure hate. That was a crazy yeah, story. Hey, yeah. the they case, right? just, and all the punches oh, you did on Lloyd Banks, does it really like <laughs> trying to be objective I, here? But yeah. I think you gotta do I think you just gotta do something that's like impactful or like crazy, like memorable. I, I was even thinking too, I, I hope this don't go too left, but like yeah. even like Wild Brothers like DMX and ODB, right? Mm-hmm. Like ODB, ODB's part of Wu Tang Clan, legendary group, right? Mm-hmm. Uh ODB's got a lot of people consider his first album a classic. You know, it's like it's, it's really, really good. You know yeah, yeah. His first, his first album considered a classic. I think it went gold or something like that. Second album before he died, I think went gold or platinum. Right. So yeah. I work with Neptune's, but ODB is a persona. Like he did a lot of stuff like on camera, like off away from rap. That's like legendary. Like at the Grammys, you know what I'm saying? When he was presenting the award and Puff won the award, he said, "Puffy's good, but Wu Tang is for the children." Like that's a quote. You know Classic. what I'm saying? Like that's a legendary moment. That's before Kanye took the mic. You know what I'm saying? That's like years before Kanye. You know, uh, being on MTV and going to pick up the food stamps in a limo. You know what I'm saying? On <laughs> national TV, like picking pick up his food stamps. You know what I'm saying? Classic. Peeing on peeing on camera on MTV. You know what I mean? Like I remember that. There's, there's a there's a story of ODB. <laughs> y'all can look this up. Y'all can Google this. There's a story of ODB saving a kid from getting hit by a bus or a car on the street and then literally getting arrested the same day or the next day for a warrant. You, you know what I'm saying? If like, you don't know, uh, there's a story of uh, Mariah Carey's and ODB's experience working together. It was by a producer who worked with him. And it is yeah. fucking hysterical. If you want to have a great laugh, go read that. But I was going to I guess my point was, like, even without the music, the brother did, like, some just some wild, off-the-wall stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's like legendary moments, you know what I mean? Or even DMX, like I brought this up before, being high on cocaine and impersonating an FBI agent. Like that really happened. That really happened. 
happened, like at an airport, yeah, got arrested for impersonating an FBI agent. You know what I'm saying? That's like that's cringy, <laughs> but it's like it's le it's legendary though, right? Like that's classic. That's a classic DMX story. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do y'all think about that? Like stuff that's maybe not music related, but just maybe moments on television or. Oh. It plays yeah, a little bit. Like, Nelly is my number one then yeah. if we're talking about that. that Nelly is number one on all of it. Cribs is classic. Red, yeah, Red Man, Red Man Cribs, Nelly in the tip <laughs> drill video, swiping the, yeah. swiping the car. Yeah, swiping the the ass. <laughs> that, look, that was a moment. Like, what you, what you want from me? You know what? Nah, that you're was right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm that was a moment. That was a moment. You know, we ain't never seen that on oh, camera yeah. ever. Ain't no Never did that before, yeah. That was crazy. If that's the case, <laughs> is uh, is exhibit a legend? The red man episode, right? Exhibit, exhibit with doing he crossed over doing this uh, pimp my ride shit. Yeah, yeah, he did my the ride. pimp my ride shit. Bro, that's he was so down with Dre and then is he a legend? He might mm -hmm. be. Everybody, everybody was watching pimp my ride, so exhibit gotta be a legend, right? Like. That's outside of right. Yo, you might squeeze in there. Yo, it was an episode. You might squeeze in there. Hey, hey, play those. You might squeeze in there. You might get in there. Good. I can't be good. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. And brother might get in there. I can't think of too many facts outside of that shit. You can't get in off of that. You can't get in off of that. That was very funny. That was very fake, and brothers let it happen. Yeah, it was fake. Uh, dude. Man, a lot of the, a lot of the reality All TV things. that era was TV, fake. Too, that was a lot of that fake. Was fake. What you mean? TV, dog. Nobody give a fuck. Like, I want to see, I want to see a goldfish in the dash, man. I don't give a fuck if that shit real or fake. <laughs> right. You know, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know and you this is why Lloyd Banks. Banks. This is why Lloyd Banks can get in these conversations. You know? This is why Lloyd Banks is not a legend. This is why, it's exactly why Lloyd Banks is you know not a legend. What? You know what? I'm, I'm going to bring somebody up that I know going to get punched on, but I just want to see why I would say he's not a legend. All right? No. So, uh, oh, Uncle no. Murder. All right? Oh. Uncle Murder is not a legend, ah. right? But why is he not one? Hmm. Is it because he didn't have enough work, enough consistent work? He don't got no classic work. He wasn't well known. You said who? Uncle Murder. Uncle Murder can be in there because his most powerful thing is the year end wrap ups. Fight your mom. Yeah, the brother got shot in the head. Man, he can't make an argument. <laughs> oh, no, geez. no. God. You know how many, how many niggas get shot you know, in hip hop and nobody cares. You got a whole song about it, man. What about Cujo? Yeah, right. <laughs> <fine. Mujo, laughs> to be honest, right? Mujo, if he can, if he can make it in there for getting shot, Cheddar Bob can get in there too. Fuck it, let's just yeah. open up the gates. Everybody's a legend. Man. We're letting everybody. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the precedent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the precedent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the precedent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga <laughs> Cheddar Bob <laughs> don't rap, and that nigga Cheddar Bob don't rap. That was the ball tonight, right? I'm just saying, right man. I'm Go just ahead, saying, brother. I'm just saying. So I guess, okay, I, I, guess I got a I brother I want to throw out there. Go ahead, Kujo. I guess I see the. Nah, come on out. Go ahead. You got to have at least one, like one thing. Either it's a classic album, uh, maybe a classic song, uh, or or. Huh. A classic show or some shit like Let's that. Like, Kujo, 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 when you, when you act along Jeffrey, you act along Jeffrey, you act along Jeffrey, movies, classic shows. Uh, yeah. One classic movie. Like, how do you do it? Mm. But then, I, that's I, the case. We are talking, we are Jeffrey. kind of talking like a hip hop list, though. So it's kind of yeah. like. And for somebody to get in exclusively off of, like, like an exhibit's case, like, okay, well, he has a show and shit. Like, can niggas like kind of name like an ex classic exhibit album or anything like that? Like, <laughs> or, uh, or it's like I think he's got. I think, he was, like, his, I think his first album was pretty good. He had. I think he had a. Yeah, I, I can't. I'm not. Uh, 
My, his first, his, I, but I even, that, but even know. like a track, like say, like at least like Vanilla Ice, we could say he got Ice Ice Baby. That shit is crazy, right? Like that shit. I know, I know, was on that. Uh, no, I know, Zibby was on that bitch, please. Too, he was on that bitch, please. Too, you know, I think I'm about to say, I think, that's his, I think that's his highlight verse. I would say his highlight song is probably what you see is what you get. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was off of yeah, Forty Days, Forty Nights. And that was a uh, ninety-eight, I think. Uh, he was respected. He the thing. This is a weird thing with Exhibit. Like he was respected. Like people forget Exhibit was really like oh, a cool. backpack rapper when he mm -hmm. dropped. Uh, his first two albums mm -hmm. was very backpackish. You know what I'm saying? And then when he started doing stuff with Dre and touring with like Up and Smoke tour and all that, he kind of start. He kind of started watering down his sound a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It was very commercial type stuff. Mm -hmm. But he he never popped like that as a solo artist. I mean, that's kind of what's weird. Black like. He was yeah. respected, you know what I'm saying? But he was never like just selling millions of records. Record, right? Right? Yeah, one record that was like on like TV. I remember one, I remember seeing Cuz on TV. Like, no, he was yeah, on TV. He had a push. I was about to he say, it's like, but that's the thing. He found his lane and then he just right. kind of rocked out the TV show. So it's like, I ain't mad yeah. at that at all. Yeah, but I'm just right. saying, it's like, they're kind of yeah. getting that hit. Uh, that's kind of good. Legends category is kind of like. Yeah, and I feel like he can still hit there because he still he still does have a catalog type of deal. Like he still got work and shit. Like he still yeah. like did his thing on the rap yeah, shit. And y'all listen to that like, bitch please too. You know, listen to that bitch please too. He killed that. That's that's yeah, probably not like he can't get in there like like that. But you know what? I just mean, like for I other people, like no, nah, he. I see what y'all. He was saying. definitely on that danger zone let tier. Me, let me. <laughs> let, me, let me say this before we move forward because brothers was talking. I'm, I'm down here in Miami. I was trying to get my shit set up. Um, uh, here we go. Like flex, like flex, like flex. No, no, because I, I wanted mm. no. It's not even flex. I wanted it to sound good mm. for the episode, but I sound like shit. But I do find it kind of disingenuous that. I mean, I understand, brothers, we got to this point because brothers wanted to figure out who was like how low the bar went before you could be considered a legend. I find it very disingenuous trying to punch for these niggas making fake reality sitcoms when you got niggas like Ludacris and all these brothers who did everything. Platinum out. Ludacris is a legend. Ludacris is a legend. I know. I know. He's a legend. No, no, I know. I know. But I'm simply saying, where we're, look at what we're having to do for exhibit. Niggas couldn't name his debut out. We have to find a verse for him. We have to find no, I, like, got, I mean, I got that. Yeah, I got. Come on, bro. I got like, that. I got that. Yeah, Louis. Got yeah. Got okay, if, okay. You know what? If that's the case, right? Because <laughs> if we bring it to underground hip hop, it'd be a different discussion, right? So I'm, I'm gonna bring up yeah. a couple people who are like considered un underground, but are legends, right? So Pharrell Munch mm -hmm. yep. is, a, is, a, is a legend, right? You got someone like LP. You know, okay. considered legend. A legend, legend for sure. Uh, mm. who else would be considered underground? I'll say is Lupe. Sean Price, is, Tech Nine. Is Lupe? Is Lupe right. a legend? Tech Nine, Lupe. Tech Nine is definitely a legend. Lupe, Lupe. Tech Nine is definitely a legend. Well, that's not even debatable. Currency <laughs> is a legend. Right. That's not even debatable. But Lupe Big Rick is a legend. What kind of? Ah, yeah. I mean, the mix for the what? What? what what are we talking about right now? Wait, who would you say not a legend? You are bugging. Nah, the mixtapes. Uh, okay, I mean, we'll talk about that. Yeah, I'll go. Wait, I'll go talking about for the weed mm -hmm. lane. Who, who, for the weed lane, he is. Are you telling me currency is not a legend? But for the weed lane, he's definitely on. He's definitely an underground no. legend. Man. We're not doing that. He's a underground he's legend. Definitely. That's a fact. That brother tour everywhere. That brother tour everywhere. That's how he get his money. I mean, good for him, man. Man. What about Lupe, though? Yeah. Lupe? Lupe, Lupe is not really a legend. He's not underground. Lupe is, he's Lupe a, legend. is a legend. He got, two, he got two classic albums, bro. Like, he's not mainstream not, either, though. He not uh, right. That's the that's 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 I mean, okay. He said it's not okay. Like, he said he said Obama was a terrorist. He said Obama was a terrorist. I don't think he's mainstream. We have to be honest about his. We have to be honest about his. We have to be honest about his timeline. Lupe was mainstream when he was under Atlantic, and he was fulfilling his contract obligation. 
And yep, and Until then as soon as he was trying to get more creative, mm-hmm. but, yeah, yeah. As soon as he tried to get more the content, creative, content wasn't. They went off. Content but wasn't. Content content wasn't job. corporate though. But could y'all? No, the content could, was, is it is it was worth. Is it is it possible to have? Isn't it possible to have like mainstream success and still not be considered a mainstream artist though? Yes. yes. Like you, yeah. like you have a gold single or a platinum. You know what I'm saying? And but later mm-hmm. on, like you were saying, Cal, like later on, maybe you you just went completely underground, like like a cannabis, right? He was on a major label, Universal. His first two albums mm-hmm. went gold. But then he he completely like went under the grid after that. Like to this day, he all his work is super it's, underground. Like, like you know what I mean? Like but that's he, one all up. Go my ahead. Bad. My bad. Go ahead. Finish your point. That's all I was gonna say. I, I think it's yeah. it's possible to have. There's a middle ground, right? Like, what would y'all consider most deaf? He had a gold album, you know, when he dropped mm-hmm. when he first came out, but like. Nah, he, you know, his later of, work is not true. as well known right. as that first okay. album. No, he, no, I'm not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying he's. Well, my point was like he's more middle ground. Like he's not completely underground, but he's not super mainstream either. You know right. what I'm saying? It's like right. a, there's a middle <laughs> area. But most, that's, that's but most, this is so important to the coach. He's so he's such an integral part of the culture that you can't not say that he's not a legend. And I feel what you. I feel where you're coming from. When you saying that, most 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 is so most is such a part of the culture where it's like nah, he ingrained in this shit. Like he like all oh, this like Tribe Called Quest, like him doing his own shit, the the solo work, the production. That's Let Boom go real quick. Hey, I'm yeah. I'm sorry. No, you good. It's all good. Hey, um, in my in my opinion, because this is a very interesting part of the convo right here, but I'm gonna just keep it a hundred. Uh, in my opinion, Lupe Fiasco is much more of a legend than most deaf. Uh, if we just talking rap now, if we talking uh career, then it gets it gets kind of lopsided because most deaf got the acting, um. You know what I'm saying? He got the the black star. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he just got a he just got a yeah. He just he just got more to his advantage. But on some rapping, like I don't yeah. know if I don't know if most death is pro- I don't know if most death has ever had a time where he was considered the uh, best lyricist in the game. Uh, where I know what they were. Yeah, uh, or, the or, or, yeah, or like yeah. really a leader of the backpack. Yeah. Community, like I don't know what community that whole most Dave Chappelle was that to be. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. Yeah, I just don't see. I, I don't know. see. I don't. I don't think mo- most deaf doesn't have a food and liquor, in my opinion. Um, I, and that's respectfully to uh, he has, Black he, on both he has sides. A good album. That's respect. No, nah, he, he, he got some. He got some. He got some work for sure. So you see. But, so, you, so hold on, hold on. So you say he's not a legend, though. You get to get that part. Is he? Is he a legend? No, he said he's more of a. Le- he said he's That's more. Lupe, Lupe has is more. Of a yeah, legend. he's at Lupe more of a legend, right? Lupe is more mm-hmm. of a legend than most Def, even though most Def has longevity and work outside of hip hop. When it but comes to that, that's why he right, gave him the credit of the work outside of hip hop. But no, he said, we're no. talking just hip hop basis, and that's where Lupe would have the advantage. That, yeah, right. that's what I was going to go to, like the credit. I think stuff started like going down, well, not downhill, but like he started to get more, like Lupe started to get a little more in his feelings when people really wouldn't, like when the, like, the majority of rappers, like, when more like more lyricists started coming in the game, right? And y'all remember that whole thing he had like with the Kendrick thing? Like right. I've been doing this, you know, and you putting him yeah. over me. I've been doing that is kinda... considered an innovator in hip hop. Like right. But it's like but it's it's like yeah. the Kanye thing where it's like, Oh, I've been doing this. You know, y'all just now getting on this and he wasn't really getting like the credit of like the whole mm-hmm. mainstream you know, fans and stuff. Yeah, because you know, yeah. he started hey, telling hey, Bruce, Bruce, let's keep it. Let's just keep it tall, man. Yeah, Lupe's kick push is a bigger record than most Death has ever recorded. 
No, I'm not Ever. saying like mm. most death like no, I'm not, I'm not, like, I'm not, no, it is clearly. I'm not saying wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> you said more impactful. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Hold up. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Sure. I love you. Uh, I, 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 I remember that Umi says being in some car commercials. You said that who? Umi, Umi says. Umi, Umi says. Umi says I am black like on both sides. I, I remember that being in some car commercials, good brother. Black on both sides. Okay. Big push. All right, kick push. Listen, what else? I remember that boy saying, "Okay, like what else?" If, if car commercial, like if car commercials, thing. if car commercials, is all you got, good brother. No, mm. I'm saying because you, you said I'm. Mm -mm. You said, hold, you. hold on, hold on. But you said impactful, so I can't do that for Vanilla Ice and then not not punch for most death. Like that's a I big mean, deal. Feel, you're start, you're talking me. I ain't gonna hold you. you. I would also had the ringtone game on Linot. I, I ain't gonna also, hold you. I would also that. argue that that oh, most definitely quality. I would think that Black Star album is considered more of a classic than anything Lupe's got. That's I'm crazy. Uh, that's I think food, I, the, that's cool, food the cool beat. Yeah. The cool beat I think food and liquor is going to be more. Purple. Food and liquor is going to be more recognized, in my opinion, than Black Star. Uh, more recognized more or more impactful? Because I, I, I look, look, look at how look at, hold on, look, look at how long Talib Kweli and Most Def was talking about putting out a sequel to that Black Star, and how much of a buzz that created every time they said that they was going to drop it. This was what, like last not, year, not, the year not, before that they gave that off. Go ahead. Thanos, how many people know about that? Nah, most like, dropped the album that I hold really on, hold on. With. Hold on. Shoot. Hold on. We not so let, let's clarify some things. Yeah, let's do that. Like like how we always do. We splitting hairs here. We I fuck with most. But right. We gotta find some we gotta find some gaps here. So when you talk about Black Star, that's mm -hmm. more so uh hip hop head. Yeah, exactly. Like that's but, yeah, but you're talking <laughs> you're talking in, you're talking impactful, right? That was a, a big re that was a huge record, not even underground. Like I think that went gold, if I'm not mistaken. So like it it did cross over a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But that was uh that also helped spearhead like that whole Rockus Records. Hey, you guys keep it down. That helped spearhead that whole Rockus Records movement in the late nineties, you know what I'm saying? Like independent hip hop getting on the radio, most dev dropping, you know, Miss Fat Booty to leave Quali with the just to get by, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? That helped spearhead like a whole movement. And like I said, I would I would actually argue that that Black Star album kicked off both most deaf and Talib Kweli solo careers and they both were successful like both of their first albums was like gold or something like that you know what I'm saying I can't think of a Lupe Fiasco record that was as impactful or influential as that I know he had some maybe some bigger quote unquote records as far, bigger records but as far as like influential and impact like actually causing some change I don't. I don't. Bro, I don't bro, think. Bro, that, bro, Thanos. I don't think kick. I don't think kick push does that, bro. Kick push is way more impactful than that record you just. How? You How? Just, it break it down though. Because so <laughs> when kick when kick push came out, uh, basically there was a there was a skate there was a skating community, uh, yeah. around around that, and and this community that I'm talking about is bigger than this community that you're talking about with this Rockets records and stuff like that, which definitely was impactful. But what Lupe helped do was for the Conscious Brothers help bring in a whole different, not saying he's solely responsible, but he helped usher in and really is the poster child for this era at this time for ushering in a whole different, this, this before Wayne started skateboarding and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that whole skate community mixing it with hip hop. And if we want to talk about songs being played on commercials, I don't remember what Kick Push wasn't played on. Yeah, it was played. Well, actually, everywhere. It was played everywhere. Put that away. Put that away. What is everywhere? Because I, I would also argue that a lot, a lot of skate videos and skate DVDs had hip hop on those way before I ever heard of Lupe Fiasco. They had hieroglyphics. They had. They definitely Africa, had hip hop they had, on there. They, they had all kinds of like hip hop on the but, background. By the way, if we, if we're uh, talking believability, by the way, Lupe can't skate. Mm. <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> hey, nah. 
Just better, better been drinking yeah. a little. Yeah, but 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 <laughs> but in that in that in that community, the backpack community, like to us niggas, we think it might be Wayne who represents skateboarding. Like, no, it's not Wayne. That backpack community, that that skateboarding, uh, our future would definitely be in that category. It's gonna be yeah, the sure. our futures. It's gonna be the Lupe Fiasco, Pharrell, uh, mm-hmm. the Pharrell, OG Pharrell for sure. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, do, so do you think Wayne just brought more light to the skateboard scene? Like, yeah, for sure. Okay. for sure. For right. sure. I think yeah, I think Wayne's persona. I think Wayne's persona fit more too, uh, Lucci. With yeah. uh, just be just yeah. being a wild boy, like wild looking and all that with the tats and everything. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. These yeah. are. Hey, but look, y'all forgot. Y'all forgot. Hey, but look, 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 y'all forgot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and getting deported. Like, yeah, I, was, like, I was gonna say now, boom. One, one thing I think most and Lupe definitely share in common too. I don't know if brothers recognize this, but they both later in their music career they just went all the way weird. You know what I'm saying? They was like, screw it. Like I ain't even gonna try to make a radio hit no more. Like I'm just gonna put out whatever. You know what I'm saying? Oh right, right. Like, they they definitely share that in common. You know what I mean? So, yeah, they're more similar. Yeah, and I hate, I hate that. Uh, I hate that they did that. Yeah, the good people that y'all that brought up that I initially was gonna try to punch back against, but really, it's really nothing to argue. To be honest, for being realistic, I think I think uh just to bring it back to 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 Lloyd Banks, you know, um, all right, man. So as I said, man, he was in the was the nigga is not a legend. Stop, man. Right? Say it out loud. Like, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta stop this. Right. You gotta stop <laughs> this piece, right? For, for why, he's not, why he's not a legend, right? We just had a whole conversation. <laughs> this whole conversation was about shit that made this nigga not a legend. That was all there. That was all there, though. Down, right? That was all there. We Let's went go. through everything that makes a person a legend, right? So <laughs> I might as well explain why someone isn't. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, as I said, this was the punchline era, right? You know what I'm saying? In the era of the punchers now, Cass, you got you got uh, Fab, you know Break down, Cujo. You got Wayne, right? You got Jewels, right? So uh, I think there's other Eagle brothers. Game crazy. There's other brothers I can name, but those are like the main ones that people talked about like heavily in that era. You know what I'm saying? They were all competing for punchline. King or you know what I'm saying who had the best punchlines. Well, not necessarily. Wayne was really going for best rapper overall, not just best puncher. But he's in a different league of his own, right? So all of them brothers, um, kind of did something. And you know what? Jewels could argue that he's. Uh, don't I'm not do gonna... this, Cujo. Please don't um, do this. Don't do this. Nah, I, don't, I, I was trying to. I, I, I got computers cuting. <laughs> I think I could make a case for him not necessarily read a chat on being a legend either, but that's a whole different discussion. Jesus. Basically, right, we're talking about impact, influence, um, talking about sales, everything considered overall, not just like regionally, not on the East Coast. I'm from the East Coast too, so I'm not being biased. Realistically, <sighs> other than the Punchline King rollout, and that was self-proclaimed, by the way. Nobody gave him that title, like respectfully. What um, about Pit Bull, Kuja? Pit Bull. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, wait, what? 
Definitely a legend. Are you kidding me? What about Pitbull? I need to know. What about Pitbull, bro? He had the whole mixtape run before Mr. International. Mr. Wolf. Wait a minute, though. Pitbull, bro. Definitely a legend, huh? Is yeah, definitely uh, a legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How can Mr. Worldwide not be a legend? Google yeah. 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 as an artist. Diddy, bro. Mm-hmm. Big, yeah, as an artist. Big, big time. Yo. He's a, what he's you, you, oh, you say as an artist? Like, what, what are you trying to separate? Yo? Like, yeah, well, he's he, just saying. He covered like, two like, genres, it's, right? It's, I mean, he went from hip hop to Latin trap to reggae tone. Like, and he dominated like damn near like two eras. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mid two thousands, somewhat yeah, late two thousands. So he okay. could, yeah, yeah, he could make a case. You know what I'm saying? He could make a way better. Yeah, he's better than Flo Riders. Hell yeah! yeah. Man. What about Come DJ? On, man. He better than Khaled too. The Khaled, the Khaled, the Khaled the Khaled's not even an artist. What are you talking about? Nah, Khaled not a legend. He's not, not, not a legend. Hold no, no, up. Yeah, Khaled is a legend, man. You know, oh, whatever you feel about him. Khaled, a legend. Who said that? Maravi, Cal and Pitbull are friends though, so that that's kind of tough you know to be like. Yeah, like, I, I wish Boom was here because I want I wanted to ask him about Joel Santana. I want I wanted to ask him because I don't I can't. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't think I could argue brother in here, man. Being a yeah. legend necessarily, he's but definitely not a legend, bro. He could. Uh, What's up? <laughs> based on <laughs> what? <laughs> Be a legend based on what? He got I mean, some uh, New Yorker wants to punch for that one. They what influence? Saying, I don't. I don't. What influence? Bro, I definitely punch for that. Well, so okay, is Cam you know the only legend say, out of Dipset? Uh-oh. I can't is say Cam you only legend. Have influence though. Cam, I can't Cam and it. Jim. Cam and Jim are the legend. Is Jim a legend? Hold up. 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 Is Joel's a legend? Let's ask. Let's get that first. Let's get that question answered first. Is Joel's a legend? We are gonna, gonna get back to Jim Jones, bro. We coming back to him, bro. We coming back to Jimmy, bro. Cause that's some personal shit. Think, Go ahead. I don't think he did enough. He a regional legend. Yeah, I don't think he did enough for real to be considered a legend overall. I think his career, unfortunately, was stifled mm-hmm. by a lot of internal stuff. So it unfortunately couldn't really like it yeah. couldn't flourish the, like the Is like this the rest Joel's of the, right? Lucci, Lucci, this Lucci, Lucci, right? Lucci, the <laughs> nigga that could consider the greatest rapper alive wanted to do a mixtape album with the nigga. Like, come on, Lucci. No, yeah. no, I'm not pointing against uh, Joel's. I'm talking about Jimmy. How is Jimmy Jones? Like go ahead, nah. Uh, let's finish. Well, let's finish Joel's. Then we're gonna go to Jimmy. Okay, I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> If you're talking oh, about individually, in, individually, I don't think Jim, like, he was, was right like there. Like, he was the right there. man, Jimmy, man. He was mm-hmm. right there, but he, he didn't necessarily <laughs> do nah, it. I will argue this, though, right? Joel's right. definitely <laughs> had, he definitely had influence, right? All of this said really had influence, but as far as style, style of dressing, the way brothers, he definitely influenced a lot of niggas, just even outside of rap, whether it was his peers in rap or outside. Like, people really wanted to be Jewels, bro. A lot of the reason why, you see, you see on 4th of July. Pants. That's what you're talking about, Kujo? The it was no pants. Pants. The I like the Jewels better than Jimmy, but we got yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. 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 bandana. You're talking about the, the NBA. Jewel, the bro, was more of a trendsetter than The bandana. Like, like, come on, bro. He stood <laughs> out, bro. Like, when you look at Dipset, that brother stood out, bro. Like, out of all of them, he stood out, bro. Come on, man. Like, nah, come on, bro. He stood he out a lot stood. more when he lost his grill to promethazine. And, oh, and, uh, oh, uh, yeah. oh, man. He definitely oh, stood out a lot. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah. 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 
what happened. Come on, Jim, man. Jim Jones away. Yeah, he got it, bro. Yeah, we got it. He got it down recently. He got it down recently. Let's go to Jimmy, man. Pause. Jim Jones, bro. Let's go to Jim Jones. Jim Jones is a legend. All right, and I'm going to hold on, hold on. I'm going to make a case for why. Go ahead, bro. Let me just say this, man. If he a legend, so is Max B and Stack Bundles, because that's what was writing the nigga shit, man. No, nah. you nah. nah. talk about it, Corza. That's why I told you to fucking mute. Let's talk about that. Let's be a legend, though. Let's see that. Let's see that. Nah. See that. See that. See that. Quizzle, Quizzle, Quizzle. What you just nah. said is true. But that stuff you have to know. We talking about the average Joe Schmo. Like if if I'm walking up to mm-hmm. you on the street. Your, your average show might not know who Stack Bundles is. They That's the information yeah. we gotta yeah. get though. That's yeah. not our fault. We didn't get the information though. Yeah. Not, that's not our fault. Yeah. Brother well, educated us be, just now, bro. I got to take points. Be, would those brothers be more like New York legends rather than like? Uh, nah, that's what I'm saying. Hold on, their sound transcended New York. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I if I could argue that. It was only New York, okay, but um, to be honest, this sound reached so many, you know, saying regions. Uh, so I ain't heard nobody talk about these guys outside of the brothers from New York, like Tony. Oh, no disrespect to them. So like, like it ain't they ain't, they ain't household this. names to be like they legends. But they wrote Jim Jones, Jones shit though, bro. bro. We, 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 West hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. We're not discussing if these brothers are legends. We was talking about Jim Jones. And the brothers just yeah. gave us information that if he's a legend, these brothers are yeah. legends because these, I, I these was that. his ghostwriters. So we're not talking I, about the those brothers. The only one in Dipset y'all think is a legend is, is Cameron, basically. I, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I think Jim Jones is a legend too, Cool John. I'm with you. Yeah, I feel like he is too. I think he is. Nah. I think he is. I fuck with Jimmy, bro. Like, but fans, that just. Lucci, you wasn't. I can't say that for the average brother. Nah, I fuck with Jim Jones. Lucci, you wasn't bumping We Fly High back in 06, 07? Yeah, I like that <laughs> real, that real hard yeah. shit. I like that real hard yeah. shit. That's my favorite album. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. I fuck with it. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. Uh, but I mean, besides that, outside of that, what else? What else did you do oh, you for me? Well, look, well. I- you got the certified say, gangsters joint. You got the G's up joint. Man, you talking about yeah, tracks, man. Win, 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 one and two tracks, man. Go, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to lift that up. Go ahead. Yeah, I ain't going to attack my nigga like that. Yeah, y'all chill. Y'all chill. Y'all chill. Y'all chill. Don't tap my That's the producer. Jim was an integral part of putting this shit together, like marketing their mixtapes, marketing like their image and all that stuff, man. He was the front man on a lot of them anthems that they had, like punk music, certified gangsters, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he was also on Love and Hip Hop, I believe, on the early seasons. Bro. Yeah, yeah, for like, early seasons. The, that's, a fact. that's a fact. That's a fact. Had a nice <laughs> young head, like, he he it, 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 with the big mole on side of face. And, and and the brothers been consistently putting out like quality music, bro. Like since yeah. Dipset. Fumbled and yeah, broke true. up and got back together and broke up. Like he's still consistently been putting out music, bro. You could go to his channel. You could look up on YouTube right now, Luch- uh, Lucci, and a lot of Jim Jones albums and singles that he's put out the past five, six, seven years is all like million views, couple million views. Like he still got a it's lot of heavy. I'm not saying that he was a legend. I was saying, Ola, Phil, I wasn't saying he wasn't a legend. I was just saying that would like if we was discussing oh, know, said, we just put a question mark next to his name. Like it's but not an automatic it's, 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 bid. No, 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 I'm, I'm just you I'm feel just, me? I would love I, to I hear why niggas think he's a legend. I'll tell you, that would be mm-hmm. me and I am not like a big I'm not super huge on his music either. I'm just being like objective. Yeah, I like, fuck with Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? I'm being objective. You just saying yeah, like you I said. Got four minutes. Before we go, like get off of this, I got something to add though. Like, you know, RP takeoff and stuff. Would y'all put uh, Migos over Dipset? Yeah, <laughs> no, no, so like, oh. no. Nah. Nah, nah, man, nah. Like, oh, we don't talk about Migos. Like that. 
Uh, yeah, we man. gotta get hey, some. We, we bugging with this right here, bro. Like, you oh, gotta get them brothers. They fucking come on, bro. Know. I know we don't like the mumble rap, bro, but we gotta get them brothers. Come, we, that's me, another discussion. We gotta get them brothers their respect. Come on, man. Hey, me, bro, brothers really been doing their shit, bro. Since that's not since I've been home from jail, nigga. It's been almost ten years. That's a good argument, man. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, man. Ooh, nah, we not, we not Ooh. Ooh, trash. They not trash, but they not like that. Nah, nah we nah. not doing that, bro. Nah, Come on, man. Not trash, bro. Bro. Nah, hold on, hold on. <laughs> See what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Cal, you gonna let this happen, Cal? They're, they're he said legends. Migos, yeah, trash. We about, we wait, wait. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, trash. Migos ain't. Migos ain't. Come on, man. Bro, what the fuck is going on right now? Wait, can we, can we talk about this? Yeah, let Bane and Marabi do this, bro. Wait, you want me to say it again, man? I can say it all. See what I'm saying? I know the best brother that's this big. All right, man. You didn't hear it in the back? Hold on, bro. If y'all can, if y'all can let niggas who are all in bedazzled Ed Hardy with no teeth in their fucking front mouth because of promethazine and lack of discipline, get over on niggas who literally came into the game and had the rest of backpack niggas tight because they said these niggas is doing mumble rap the boogie to boogie to do. No, mm-hmm. we're not doing this. Shout out Talk to Jim Jones. Cap. Shout mm-hmm. out to Jules Santana. And mm-hmm. shout out to the miracles of going to fucking rehab. But mm-hmm. Migos is clearly over these niggas. Let's oh, pull up the numbers. Over them, bro. Yeah, pull uh, up they numbers. don't want to pull up the numbers. Up uh, they, don't, numbers. they don't want to pull up the numbers. numbers. The numbers, 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 numbers it's a landslide. When we that was probably over, gonna be a landslide, bro. When we talk about old. impact, man, like, come on, yeah, man, like, bro. They had everybody mumble rap for the. Than did say, bro. Like, no, bro. Did we not. hear mumble rap for like five years or four, five years in a row? Uh, yeah. Uh, when the mumble, a, mumble on, rap bro. shit yeah, stop? Like, come but on, yeah, bro. Yeah. Them boys kind of really. Mumble rap is also trash. So. Y'all act like oh, that. No, bro, no, no. that oh, was... No, man. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. That even, that's Y'all not even like the point, bro. Them bro. boys did take that shit over by storm, though. That shit Come is... Come on, man. That's a fact. Like that's a fact. Was them just boys didn't do nothing. Them boys didn't do and Jim Jones, bro. It wasn't... All them boys know for Wayne Pink, man. Nah, we're not finna do that, bro. They know for Wayne Pink, man. Nah, it's not yeah. about just the pink, man. No, I don't care yeah, about that. Yeah, thing, that's, that's, like, that's, 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 that's what I'm saying, that's though. That's what I'm saying, though. We're talking about overall impact, right? So from from when they dropped Diplomatic Immunity all the way to Diplomatic Immunity 2, then breaking up, right? They all formed their own shit. Cam had a group. Jimmy had a group. Joel's, uh had his own thing going on, right? And that kind of opened the door for, you know, the Max B's. French, you know what I'm saying? Then they had the Where's Coke Boys. Where's the influence, page. though? What do you mean? Uh, who did it influence? Saying, who did it influence? Like, who is the? Go ahead, go I, I ahead. Got I, you. I got you. Educate me right now. Now you know. I got you. Me. I got you. Go That's that drink. You, you need to slow nah, down. Nah, come on, man. Slow. I'm smoking nah, right nah, now. You ain't be choking over here. That's man. What's, what's in that, man? What's in that, man? What you got uh, in there? Don't hear me slow. Hey, listen. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, dip, 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 dip. you crazy, Bruce. Dipset wasn't the first. I'm not gonna say they was the first with mixtapes, but they was super influential along with G Unit early, like with the late '90s, early 2000s, flooding mm-hmm. the streets with mixtapes, man, flowing over other people's beats, putting out their own product in between <laughs> their major label albums to kind of keep the streets fed and keep that buzz going. And fast forward 23, 23 years later, you see everybody's been doing that the past few years, you know what I'm saying? Especially the past few years, putting out their own mixtapes, man. You see it with Future, you've seen it later with Wayne, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of these Southern artists, mixtape, mixtape, mixtape. Troy Ave got on through his mixtapes. But Dipset and G-Unit was real. I'm going to say the first, but they was really the first people that I remember hearing about via mixtapes that was consistent. You know what I'm saying? Flooding the streets, man. I definitely say that that's impactful. I never really fell for the everybody wearing pink thing because I always thought that that was kind of weird. Right. It but wasn't that just was the pink thing, pink though. Before that was, that, uh, that was did you wear pink before? That was, 
Absolutely not. But that was impactful. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that was impactful. Yeah, that was impactful. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I agree with you, too, because that's how I, that's how I start listening to mixtapes. Bro, that mm-hmm. whole rock star way? <laughs> the G-Unit oh, no, the, the G- the G- and uh, Dipset. That them was the first two groups. I was I listened to mixtape before, but like them was my favorite mixtape shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they was, was yeah, yeah, they had that whole, that whole rock star wave, bro, with the BB Simon belts, bro, and and the Nike boots, yeah. like LRG hoodies, uh, Chrome mm. Chrome Heart hoodies, bro, Supreme hey, box Martin. logo tees. They were doing that shit in like oh three oh four, bro. Nobody was even on that wave yet, and they and they ushered it. Wayne started dressing like that. After a while, because mm-hmm. he was so associated with them at one point, well, mainly Joel's for real, for real, because they, they, they try to get a mixtape together. But though I can't yeah, feel I can't my face, feel yet, my face. Yeah. you know, yeah. but you know, Wayne was influenced by them brothers, right? And then it kind of ushered in a whole other thing with just like regular niggas, you know, saying in their region or their city or whatever was kind of on the wave. Now, Jersey, like being from here, we were already, you know, on the Nike boots. And and you know what I'm saying, BB Simon belts wave. Even with the uh the the uh the, the, the chain on the belt and shit. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. The they were all chain, we were already on that wave, bro. Can I, was, can I ask a question? Did the brothers from the does right, that yeah. put them over Migos though? Like which uh, uh, <laughs> respectfully, bro, the triplet flow was not started by Migos, man. It wasn't started oh, by Migos. It was dead before what? that. What? It was no, dead. Nobody was really on it. Nah, bro. You come home, that was bro. nobody. Used and I come home from jail in 2014, man. Them they boys made was popping. Uh, I don't know about that. Bro. And it was be. And uh, that's it, it, the triple flow was started boom by boom. No, no more man. by Migos than than you know. Yeah, boom. Yeah, but three. Yeah, that that was like twenty. What was that like? That comes out to twenty four years before the Migos. Uh, so right. how long was Dipset run? Like, what, what, how long was their run? run? What, what would you give their prime? Like, when you you feel like you know, uh, like oh three, the... lost oh, yeah, early two thousand to about right oh, around yeah. probably the bottom, probably about the start of probably about the yeah, start like, of the twenty tens because that was yeah, like when Jules was still so. hanging out. Yep, was hanging out with Wayne and Jules was still popping out every every now and again with a verse here and there. So yeah, they, they could go about I, this I seven eight. Question. I got a question too. First, first off, I want to say this with the with the Migos, you know what I mean? And I, I don't care who don't like it. That flow oh, was done like way years, years before. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember. Shout out, shout out three six, shout out three six. I say on, bone with me. Bone three six. Nas Mystic did it. Style, like like that mm-hmm. style was done in the '90s. Kingpin, Skinny Pimp, all them guys, Indo G. From Memphis, all them guys, man, was kind of on that way, way long time ago. Shout out Twister, who used Twister. to be called Tom Twister yeah. in the early 90s. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know that. He was a backpack rapper as well. Do your research. His first album was all backpacky, lyrical, miracle stuff. My uh, question, Rush. this is a legitimate question. I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm right. saying before that, uh, yeah, yeah, that's classic, but I'm saying even before that, Lucci, a lot of people don't okay. know Twister. When, when he got signed, he was on some backpacker like, Grab the mic, da, 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 and I grabbed the mic and do this to an MC. Da, 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 da. Like he was on that, like in mm-hmm. ninety or ninety one. You know what I'm saying? But my question is, and this isn't to argue or debate; it's a legitimate question. Did mm-hmm. the Migos have successful solo careers like Dipset did? Mm-hmm. Did who? I'm sorry. Go again. Did, did, Migos. Did, the, did, the Migos, did the Migos have successful solo careers like guys from Dipset did? Not to the same uh, degree. No, I, think no, I think the popularity. No, what, I think what do you consider? More, what do you consider I would think successful? It, I would think they're more I mean, popular uh, than what uh, Dipset uh, would ever was. About album sales, prominent, uh, whatever influence. I'm asking influence, <laughs> impact. I don't, whatever, think, like, I don't think any. I don't think anybody. I don't think anybody in. Uh, anybody in Dipset outside of Cameron no, is bigger than Quavo. No, period. No, like I don't. I don't even think it's close. <laughs> Yeah, Quavo did do the best solo. He did what, the best solo. He always, he always give me was so, yeah. That doesn't, that doesn't, go ahead, that go doesn't ahead. give me anything. Like, give me some context. Like, what is album no, doing? I mean, like, you ask, I'm, I'm saying, I'm, give me some I mean, more context. I'm asking for more context. Like, I mean, just on a. That's why I said, are we just talking music or are we just talking about about everything? 
Everything. Was, We're talking about everything. I, I, was, as far as... I was talking specifically music, I guess. Like, did they have a big solo no, album? Quavo, musically, That's... no, has not had a... That's uh, what I was getting. Okay. No. Hell no. Okay. Um, that's what I was <laughs> asking. Gotcha. But if, you're talking, about as a, if you're talking about as a figure, like Jim uh-huh. Jones is a figure. Joel gotcha. Santana is a figure. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. Quavo's bigger than them niggas. Okay. What I'm okay. Saying. Okay, you talking about just, like, you talking about, goes, right? you talking about persona like celebrity right. like, like that's, celebrity. Okay. that's what I said right. celebrity Got wise. You. Okay, okay. I would even argue, I would even I would I would even I would even say Offset is bigger than them niggas. Like, he's celebrity wise. Big, hell yeah, celebrity wise. Yeah, like, oh yeah, that's celebrity not even wise, close. Offset, oh, yeah, yeah, celebrity wise. Of fact, and that's the and, and boom. I will I will say this about the the younger the younger niggas mine, including Jay Z. Obviously, he's not young, but brothers in hip hop don't understand the power of like proper pairing with a significant other. If your wife is powerful, that's an extra half right. life of a career for you. Exactly. Like niggas still that's them old niggas. Yeah. Oh yeah, pimp these bitches, fuck them out. Like these niggas did not marry no powerful woman. Did not you see what I'm saying? Who could give them a second half life? Like a oh Jim Jones, you're a uh, social light, like a, a content creator now, with like these niggas didn't get the memo at all, right. so, and it it's like you fucking said, spooky. Joe, uh, like they could yeah. be like, like regionally though, like regionally, they could be like um gods in that That's region not, that they're from. The the original topic I think boom right before you pulled up I think was who's been more impactful, Migos or Dipset? Migos, clear, mm-hmm. clear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, and you know how I feel about Cam. And, 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 and I think it's because we, we live in that Migos shit right now, bro. You know, how I, feel now, about bro. Cam. You know yeah. how, I, how I'm a dipset nigga. I see but, what you're saying. Yeah. Me regionally. I mean, Migos is just, first of all, you never seen, or not, I'm not going to say never, but, well, shit, I don't know. I don't know if you ever seen a, a group run as long as Migos, where I'm talking about for a period of time, for a 10 year period of time, there was no separation. I'm not talking about niggas together one day, they separate, then they, you know what, they ended up coming right. back together. No, I'm talking about 10-year run. I don't think you've ever seen that before. Um, yes. even, with, even, even talking about, like, the association uh, badge that Kyle was talking about, like, and you know that, uh, Thanos, like, when, when your wife is equally or greater or as yeah, powerful Cardi, as you. Cardi is one of them, yeah. I, you know I what get I'm saying? That. And, and, and he... Outside of the Bodak Yellow, like he's responsible for her glow up. So mm-hmm. I don't know, man. Like I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what I this set is done. I, I pulled a, I pulled the ODG. They was trying. I came in. I muted up for me. They was jumping through Joe, man. I was just trying to back him up a little bit. They don't have platinum albums. They don't. Not one. No, they don't have platinum no, albums. No. The immunity ain't. They got man. gold. They got some gold. Diplomatic like immunity. Diplomatic immunity is gold. That's the highest shit, selling I album. That would have been yeah, platinum. Yeah, yeah. 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 None of, none of so is so is, is, is Cam the only one with niggas. a platinum album? Is Cam the only one? Is Cam the only one with a platinum album? I think no, I think no, Jim Jones John, got some John, gold or John, platinum. Yeah. yeah, John's got a couple gold. Plat- that uh, the one with the ball and joint, uh, Hustler's poem that went platinum for sure. Uh, okay. Yeah, I got a question. Now, I, just, I got a question because just my mom just worked like that. Like, can we chalk some of that up though to like the the difference in eras as far as yeah. like record sales? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, I'm just, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Just, uh, just asking. Uh, not, 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 not unless you want to. Not unless you want to get nitpicky and you start to talk about physical sales versus the old era, and new era. Because now there's a drastic decrease in physical sales. Now, mm-hmm. so like niggas have yeah, to they, play. Niggas have to stream it damn near what like a thousand times, boom, or ten thousand times for it. Right. I mean, I think, I think, I think with that, that, I will agree with you, Thanos, but I won't agree for it in the case of Dipset because they was with Rockefeller mm-hmm. in two thousand. Uh, yeah, 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 so, yeah. Nah, Cal, Cal, I think it's okay. like some shit. Like you guys stream some shit like a thousand times to get like a dollar or some shit, though. 
before we yeah, share that, and, and, and them please. niggas, hold on, Cujo, because niggas, niggas stepped on my niggas stepped on my rollout, and nobody from Dipset was in no fucking Whitney Houston video, nigga. Shout out to my nigga Offset. He was in there dancing in the Whitney Houston video as a jig, nigga. Yeah, that shit powerful. That's extra stat. The nigga legend. What the fuck you talking about? My bad. Go I ahead. I just Cujo. seen Quavo playing in another movie as a drug cartel, uh, like henchman or some shit. Like this. He's, He's gonna be stuck in those roles forever. <laughs> He's never gonna play it. anything besides bro, that. Bro, this is the second That's movie I've seen this brother play the same character, bro. That's horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> I just, I just want to ask. Uh, Shout out to you, <laughs> man. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> yeah, I want to ask Boom this, man. Uh, oh my Boom, god. Do you think? Do you think Joel's is a legend? Mm. Like overall. Oh, you guys, you talking to me? Yeah. Yeah. Is Joel Santana a legend? No. Okay. <laughs> and I said no too, man. You know. Yeah, just, no, no, no. He's not. He got some shit. No, he, no, he, he, didn't get, he didn't. He hasn't but, done <laughs> enough impactful shit, bro. It's like, a dope rapper, man. Are y'all talking rapper. about like, like, like? <laughs> I mean, rapper. far as as you like you know, like, yeah. he's in a group. He still stood out, bro. I never say it again, bro. Like you I can't, you can't get past that, bro. bro. Don't give it up. There's a lot of dope rappers, man. They all can't be legends, man. That's just okay. what it is. I feel like him trying to be uh, be with Lil Wayne too much. Fucked him over. I feel like he was trying to just be like Lil Wayne too much, like. I, I don't even like that. I didn't feel that shit. Uh, I, well, I mean, like hanging around him, bro. Like, like I don't know. I feel like it's fucking up. Bro. Like ever since he's been. Brother got all that scissors. That's what he got. To me, that's what he did. That's what he felt. Chaos, I go to the studio. Got this shit everywhere, man. All right. Well, I'm glad you said that, man. Shout out to Wayne. Shout out. Man. Wayne. Shout out. Wayne. Shout out. I'm glad. I'm glad. Wayne is a terrible episode. I was like a nigga that put your dog on some oh. shit, man. Every time you go to work, you just see this friend, shit. Man. You see cocaine like, just laying like, around Gucci. everywhere, just cocaine Gucci. everywhere. That's like, like, that's like, like, like come on, man. Like, nah, yeah, you, man. Uh, you ain't got no weed. We just got pills, Luchi. Just come to the studio real quick. We we got uh, pills, bro. We got pills. Yeah. Yeah. don't get you right, Brody. I'm glad he kept it. Cause I, I wasn't and that's why the name of the mixtape is I Can't Feel My Face. And it was a disgrace. But, and I didn't like that shit. But see, that also, that's just a, another level of turning someone on to drugs. You see what I'm saying? What you mean? You know, like how... Yeah. You know how fiends turn people who never really been on drugs on and shit like that or yeah. whatever. But yeah. that what Wayne was doing or uh, what he did, it seemed cool. But at the uh-huh. end, like, come on, bro. It was... Just turn this that, on to that, it. Yeah. Does that does that add to Wayne's legendary status turning on other yeah, celebrity absolutely. rappers? Absolutely. Uh, he, I mean, he well, influenced a lot. I mean, it's a lot of media. niggas right now that still that can't go. Right, well, bro, I ain't no niggas. Down, still niggas yeah, right now to this day, bro, that drink that shit every yeah, day, bro. Yeah. And it's not even the purple no more. It's the green yeah. and the orange. And, like, it's not even the purple no more, son. And people still to this day drink this shit every day. I wanna, hey, that shit do make, wanna, that shit, that that shit that. Do make Wayne more of a legend, though, because I'm going to tell you why. That's crazy, yeah. son. Because I'm going to say, I'm gonna hey, t- he I'm don't even you. fuck with it. Like, I'm, I'm going to tell you why, it, because bro. you see the you see the difference in a nigga that can handle that shit and a nigga that mm. can't. Like, Wayne, Damn. Wayne, Wayne was really on that shit and still putting out the most music niggas, like, niggas couldn't even fathom how much music Wayne was, mm. was dropping. The work ethic never slowed down, whereas a nigga like Joel's. <laughs> It now, increased if now you want body, to Now, body bags was a little bit younger at this time, but I was in college when that I can't fit my face drop. And that shit, hit the, street, that shit hit the streets heavy. And, and Wayne, I mean, and Joel's downfall wasn't the fact that he was associating with Wayne. It was the fact that he had got influenced negatively with doing drugs. With some so, shit that wasn't right. With some shit that he, oh, he wasn't really off. ready for. Right, huh? exactly. That shit came out like oh six, oh seven. Oh six, yeah. I was, I was in high school. I was like a junior and shit. Like, yeah, I didn't really. Yeah, fuck I was with that saying one. you was no little kid or nothing, but I'm just saying. No, because I, I, that... I remember. I thought it came out oh nine. That's what I made sure. I was like, I think it was college. I ain't mean, even sure. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, that um, no, nah, he had the perfect rollout. 
Wayne was yeah, really fuck. helping. He they was really helping each other because Wayne was getting his sauce on the fashion. Right. We just we just know that that's what 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 was what was going on. Mm-hmm. But on the other end, Joel's was getting an opportunity to kind of branch away from Cam. Uh, he was trying to, yeah. And in a sense, not that he was intentionally trying to, but it, it opened up a door for him to, okay, me and Wayne got something going on and the shit hot in the street. So the rollout, so the rollout is good. His debut album was good. And then we never heard from the nigga. Well, you got the, uh, what the game's been missing album. But then after that, you never heard from the nigga because the nigga was gone off perks and lost his teeth and all kind of shit. So. So yeah, Cam sell his contract history. like like a little bit after that though. You said the Cam do what? Sell his contract like uh. Sell so his contract? I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> then I thought I thought Cam sold this shit uh yeah for a couple of million or something like that. You mean like his? Oh, you mean like his catalog? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, okay. his catalog. Uh, uh, uh some. Do you know what Cam and him and Cam fell out? Y'all remember when they fell out? I remember when they fell out. I remember when they fell out. Jewels and Cam. And they, Cam Ryan. They fell out. Cam they fell out. Soon, mul- fucking, they oh, they fell out multiple there. times, though. So I'm like, I'm thinking which time? Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going I'm to <laughs> pull it out. Go ahead. Go ahead. I know they fell out multiple times. Yeah. yeah. Nah. And even when nah, the niggas be falling nah, out. I just remember like, Cam saying he went to the studio. He seen all this lean and shit every fucking way. He's like, nigga, we from New York. We don't do this shit, man. Like, what the fuck you doing? You know, uh, I mean, I believe. I remember yeah. seeing that interview, yeah, yeah. But the niggas always fall out, though. I didn't oh. know that, man. Let me see. Yeah, man, but they be right back good, though. Like they just, yeah, took about years. It's kind of like how Fifty. It's kind of like how Fifty handle, like how he handled G Unit. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. not as not to that degree. You know what I'm saying? Because Cam is still kicking with Jim and. You know what I'm saying? They'll still do shows and shit like that, but it's like, you know, Cam is the nigga. Okay, you know, 50 is the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the rest of y'all niggas did with y'all, you know what I'm saying? Bread and whatever it is that y'all made, I hope y'all niggas did well for yourselves, because it's yeah. over. It's, it's over. over. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah, not, man. Yeah. Uh, I just want to tell y'all, man, as we part in podcast, man, uh, our transition game is horrific. Um, yes, sir. Me, mm. same saying this time, the combo was really. I ain't gonna lie, man. It was just so much, man. Like, like for real, for real. So, uh, we here now, though. You know what I'm saying so. Uh, listen, man, it's a 40th episode anniversary, man. So much shit has happened. You know, what I'm saying 40 episodes straight. Do any of y'all brothers got any memorable moments? You know, what I'm saying that y'all feel like. We'll stay, you know, stand the test of time, man, for the pod, you know. Uh, there's a lot. One episode, when niggas was talking about, what's it? When niggas was talking about fucking Ellen and shit. I don't know. It was cringy as fuck. It was real cringy. Man, I remember that. Oh, yeah. We was going through the white. We was going through the white pride. White work. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah the white work. <laughs> that episode was, uh, yeah, that, that was wild, man. I think it was Ellen. I think it was, I think it was Ellen versus, I think it was Ellen versus Oprah. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Cool. Was niggas, it, like if you had, I, I, roll, I think I was rolling with Ellen low key. Yeah, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's yeah. kind of wild. To this day, I, I still think that's kind of wild. I don't want to, I don't want to <laughs> bring it back up. We ain't got to get back in. <laughs> nah, that's, that's <laughs> PTSD. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> y'all, y'all brothers can check the archive if y'all listen to this. Y'all can go back on that episode because we're not about to go back. Go back. Go episode. back. Hey, what, what, episode, uh, what episode was that? I've been looking for that bitch too. What episode is that? Man, that was early. That Gucci for that. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. Yeah. That was that a, was a sophisticated sport. strippers episode. That wasn't like a regular show episode, <laughs> but it was oh, still so a good uh, uh, Oh, okay, okay. Early, early version of that. Um, I'll check But uh, I think one of mine was um, uh, when I was like first a host and shit, man. Y'all was punching on me. I said, Scrappy do his ass. Um, oh, yeah. oh yeah, I still feel like he's no, that was one of my favorite ones too, though, boys. Yeah, he's still garbage, man. I'm gonna lie. But I had to go back. Hey, that nigga's crappy pussy. Yeah, God, man. Damn. 
uh, I had to go back to Scrappy Doo like some that, research. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. Scrappy Doo did revitalize Scooby Doo's career. Come on, man. man. I, Scrappy, I man. Stop it. I had to look back, man, because at one point, like Scooby was really, they was kind of getting him out the door a little bit. So they had to revitalize his character by bringing, you know what I'm saying, a new character in the mix. But mm-hmm. I never fucked with him, man. I just, I don't know, man. I never really cared for Scrappy. Nigga never got no scrapping, no, almost, like, almost <laughs> fight ass. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I mean, niggas Scrappy don't really fuck with Scrappy, really... dude, but, you know, he one of the predecessors. You just got to respect the OGs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, hey, you know Take Rock, nigga? Hey, Rock, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Rock. All right, cool, cool, cool. You know, I, I get it. But, yeah, that was one of my favorite episodes. You know what I'm saying? Um, one of the worst moments, man. Like, this was just super top-tier cringe, man. Y'all brother was talking about the brothers that shall not be named from Chicago for, like, two hours, man. I was just like, what is going on, man? Like, Lucci had to edit, like, an hour and 45 minutes of the show because <laughs> he devolved into talking about the man for, like, three hours damn near. That was wild, man. I I, I was just like, I, man, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that was crazy, man. I was like, Lucci, just oh, edit this. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That dude. Um, but yeah, those are my two, man. The scrappy dude shit, and and uh, you know, what I'm saying the brother who should not be named, but we know who he is, man. You know that guy, um, from Chicago. Mm-hmm. Legend. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't really got no favorite episode, and I say that with uh really giving more credit to the show um more than anything, cause shit, I got a lot of favorite episodes, so I can't really mm. you know what I'm saying? I would probably if I had to point to a topic that we talked about yeah. uh a few months back we was talking about we really got into the bag of I think it was the top five villains. Uh mm. top five uh comic comic villains and niggas really niggas was in their bags really having to narrow down like what each you know what i mean no nah, this nigga do this so this nigga do this you know what i'm saying so i'm a comic nerd so mm. that's probably like the most engaging convo probably that i can think of that i was involved in mm. um yeah yeah i fuck with that uh i fuck with that uh topic but shit consistently niggas be talking about some shit though mm-hmm. so it's like it's hard for me to really paint. Yeah, it, it is. One. All right, that brought me to it. I, 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 wait, 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 wait. I got two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Bruce. Oh, Bruce. I like, hold on. Bruce, Bruce speaking up reminded me reminded me of something I, instantly. I think we're going to say the same thing, though, Bruce. Will you go? <laughs> no, nah, nah, so I'm going to. But I think you're right. So go ahead. Go ahead. Do no, your I thing. want you to go. <laughs> you say it better than me. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I, okay, so what I, what I was going to say was, there was, I don't know, one night or whatever, we was having a convo, a Quentin Tarantino convo, and, okay, um, that's one of them, that's one of them, yeah, so, and it kind of spawned yeah. off a lot of, you know what I mean, director talk, and really yeah. breaking down films, and what niggas had on their resume, that definitely was one of, yeah, I thought, yeah, that was, yeah, that was fire. That's one of my two. Like any and like like any Spielberg like Tarantino debate me and Boom had is just always entertaining for me, bro. Like I really be so yeah. passionate about that. Nah, them be good. Hey, I'm gonna give you credit though, Bruce, because I recently yeah. I recently watched Pulp Fiction maybe like two, three days ago again. Yeah. And credit to Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, I man. never I never I never realized watching and this is crazy as many times as I've watched this fucking movie. Mm-hmm. I never really put together that this was three different this was three different events happening. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. at one time, but it's not in order. Like yeah, the sequence. It's <laughs> yeah, it's nonlinear, exactly. Yeah. I'm like, what I'm like, hold on. I'm I'm getting <laughs> down to the very end where they in the when they in the diner. And I'm looking at I'm looking at what they had on, and I'm putting shit together like I'm putting shit together like when Vincent ended up getting when Vincent ended up getting shot. Yeah, like that wasn't a flashback. Like no, that like the nigga Vincent actually That's died yes. in the movie. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I'm realizing this shit. Like whoa, 
A, so, a lot of Tarantino movies are like that, man. Sometimes they're linear, sometimes they're not. Where he kind of just tells individual stories, then it all comes together right. yeah, as a yeah. whole story. And then sometimes shit is just a whole bunch of stories. Yeah, and, that was all. Uh, mm-hmm. I had to give him credit for that. My cousin was speculating. He had a problem with him because I'm nigga be wasted sometimes. Crazy. No, <laughs> no, I don't fuck with that nigga. But I get credit where it's due. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can't speak much for the for the director himself type of shit, but I do fuck with his movies, bro. Boom, boom and Bruce. Bruce. Boom and Bruce shit. Bro. Y'all shit. Before I forget, the the show on Netflix right now that's popping is Kaleidoscope. And I keep about that. And they like they literally you can watch it in many yeah. a ways and get and still get the full story. They literally have a way that you can watch it so that it looks like Tarantino did it to where it's extremely nonlinear and everything kind of hits at the like at a crazy like apex point and then divulges it. I'm going to post it in here. But yeah, y'all got to watch Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope is fire. I got to say like my like my next like my my last favorite like memory. And it's with Boom again. I don't remember who was battling, but it was the versus. And um, I, I, I damn, I forgot who it was. No, it 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 was, it was Mob D, and um, oh yeah, Gio had uh the locks, I believe. Yeah, and and I that was shit was egregious. The, um, that was, was egregious. Like judges, bro, <laughs> and, and and Boom stopped the battle. He was like, "Yo, Bruce, like I really got a question. Like your account, like." <laughs> <laughs> like, you're, like how reliable you are. Yo, Bruce is getting punched on. Is that what? Is that is that battle what spawned that rollout for you? Um, for um, for a nigga, for a nigga, boom. What yeah, the Johnny man. Depp? You, no, not the Johnny Depp shit. But you had some judges uh, roll out. I think yeah, you still have it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that what spawned that? <laughs> yeah, <so. laughs> bro, Bruce is getting punched on the entire uh, back. Like, I have to question your credibility, man. You don't pick the locks like ten times. Yeah, man. I had to put I had to put the spotlight on you, man. <laughs> you know what's crazy, man? You know what made oh, it even funnier? Sick. Like, Bruce, you kind of have like a, a a voice where you think you're finna say something, and you say something completely different. So I would think yeah. like, you finna say Mob Deep, and then you go, yeah, man, that was fire. Like Mob Deep was dope, but I'm gonna go with the locks, though. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, man, you said all that to say that? Like, uh, all right, man. And it, it was, was like even, ten times, yeah, man. And I was just it like, was even uh, funnier. Like the last song that played, like to circle back, was uh, Oh yeah, Reservoir Dogs. That was the funniest. Bro. I hate the production on that song. <laughs> Like, I so think mad all the time and just laugh. Man. What did it? What did it win against, man? Something it shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, y'all gassed up something and everything. <laughs> My nigga Prodigy was fucking yeah. wilding. Yeah, y'all gas up that that Reservoir Dogs. I'm sorry, man. Like, I understand. I, I guess I did just go back on that shit too. That shit wasn't too. I think yeah, it's I, just, like I think it, I think it's just being people's nature, and this ain't no no shot at Bruce, but like I think this mm-hmm. I think it's human nature to kind of like when you hear multiple motherfuckers on there, like four or five people on the track, mm-hmm. to kind of in, in, inadvertently think that they're doing more because it's more people, mm-hmm. whereas you had Prodigy on the record that I played, who gave you about four, it was like forty eight bars. Mm-hmm. Uh, just wilding, like, you know, like the story, the story he was painting, like none of them niggas did that on Reservoir yeah, Dogs. That's a fact. You know what I'm what saying? Did you, so, what, what, what did you play? What my did you play? Man, I can't even. I can't was even it Power Rap? Cradle, cradle to the Grave. Cradle to the Grave. Oh, Facts. Oh, Facts. What's the fuck? I'm getting mad thinking about it. Come that, on, man. man. Y'all. Y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop mad, playing, man. Cradle to the grave. <laughs> loses to Reservoir Dogs. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah that comes from It's me. all good, though. Yeah. yeah that I, goes to show, man. Me and Boom is always like this Tarantino <laughs> thing, man. It's just it's like a running <laughs> gag at this point. <laughs> 
I was mad at Bone though because he. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I had a couple joints I could have played. I sure. was mad. I was upset, man. Yeah. He played a he played a dirty, grimy B side, and he should have hit him with one of them A sides, man. Yeah, boom, boom is you know one of those. He was taking too many you know how, risks. He was taking you know too many how risks. I be with yeah. the B sides, though. I'm gonna get right. the B sides. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna play some shit you're not gonna expect. You know what I'm saying? Just to see where the yeah. room is at. Like it kind of remind yeah. me of that's Nip that's and, that's and that's Meek that's battle. That's he be right. knowing that though too. He's like, I know. I, that's what pissed me off about Boom, man. Like, <laughs> I know this ain't going to win, but I just want to play it anyway just because I like it. Yeah, because yeah, I be wanting yeah. to see where niggas is at. Like, is y'all like, yeah. niggas really is y'all niggas really hip hop heads? Is y'all niggas really yeah. listening? I mean, I mean, I, I've pissed me off before. when you did that uh, with, against uh, against Fonz, man, with the Nip and Meek shit. Like, I, that, that last that last round was crazy. It was like, I think it was Rico versus Rico Braxton versus Wrapped in the Middle. I feel like you could have, um, you should have played double up, but I don't know why niggas thought Rico was powerful. I had already, I had already played double up. Oh, you did? I had played it like a round yeah, or two earlier. Yeah. Oh, I think the one you didn't yeah. play was loaded bases. Yeah, I think. Okay, yeah, yeah you didn't yeah, play. Yeah, I still had. I, I didn't play dedication. I didn't play loaded bases. Oh, okay. Um, it was a few. It was a lot of shit I could have played, but I'm yeah. sorry, Rico. I don't even want to. So I'm not even. I don't even <laughs> no, you you went off after that. You went off after Rico too. I remember that. I think I was a judge for that bit. I yeah, got yeah, you was tight. Wow, man. Tight. Let, 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 let brother Ty go. You know what I'm saying? He's also, you know yeah. what I'm saying, pod member too, man. So I know you got a couple moments in the tuck, brother. Yeah, I got a uh got a I got a few of them, man. Uh <laughs> the one the one that was my favorite, I forget what we were talking about. I think it was the episode where Lucci put all the basketball players like Redman and Eminem and all that. Um, mm -hmm. Phil took us around the world uh, on you the You literally took mine. You literally, uh, episode 11, yeah, you literally took yeah, my moment. Uh, <laughs> that was one of those where he's like, uh, yeah, you know how Christmas trees need water, right? And like, so it soaks up the water droplets, right? Okay, okay, let, <laughs> uh, let me land, let me land, let me land. No, wait, okay. You know at the bottom of a Tito's bag where you got like yeah. the crushed Cheeto powder, right? <laughs> like, like he just kept going, kept giving us all these wild analogies, man. And we like, bro, <laughs> what is you talking about? We let this brother go. I'm glad we nipped this in the bud, fellas, like, because we used to let just people just talk and talk and talk. We let that brother go for like 15 minutes straight, and we still didn't know what he was talking about, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it was hilarious, you know what I mean? That was, that was funny. That's, that was definitely one of the funniest nah, moments. Ty, I, I think, I think, I but, think, boom, man, I cut him off to give him his point where it was basically like, you so give like, him his point. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> no, right. no, dead ass, dead ass. It was like so bigger mark. When you have a bigger market, you can expect a bigger return on an artist. And mm -hmm. then he was like, "That's not really it, though." Like, <laughs> like when you look at the astral plane and how the Oreos look like the sky. I mm -hmm. Nah, nah, that right. shit. Shout out to that, brothers, man. That that was funny. Um, even though this Opium. wasn't like an official, even though this wasn't like an official episode, mm -hmm. but I I do think it was a moment in the server. That first versus card that we put together, um, mm -hmm. was me versus PJ, J, uh, Jaden Styles versus Meth and Ghost, and then the main event was Boom with uh Lloyd versus Cal with T Pain. The fact that you know. We be in Discord. We've been in Discord so long, right? And it's like uh, there hadn't been no verses in like months. You know what I'm saying? Months and months. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we brought it back and we had promo and everything, and we had a full house, and both battles lived up to the hype. Both battles were super classic fire. That was a moment for me. That just that That's we made bad. it come together. You know what I'm saying? Just that we made it happen. Like you know what I'm saying? Like brothers was really on time. Uh, the judging was fair. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had a good time. A lot of dope music was played that night. It was fire. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, um, sure. That that's my second moment. And just overall, man, I'm just man, I'm just ha I'm very happy to be here. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just <laughs> glad that <laughs> brothers is still Yo, going. Back, you know what I'm saying? Brother, you keep doing, man. It's hilarious. <laughs> man. 
Because it's not an African accent, man. It sounds right, 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 right. 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 <laughs> Sounds like you're from Pakistan. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They do sound like a little yeah. Arabic to it. Like the whole hey, they, donut shop accent is kind of hilarious. They own the gas station. They own the gas station. They on the gas station <laughs> up the street, man. Y'all don't fault me, man. Uh, uh, no hockey slander nah. over here. <laughs> but nah, <laughs> brothers is uh, nah, they're really nice people. Nah, brothers Hell is uh, bro- brothers is still here, man. Like still, still putting together like good content, man. Um, but those are my two favorites off the top. And then of course, you know, anytime we've talked about you know fatherhood or. Raising our kids, right? You know what I'm saying? I remember when the T.I. situation happened. Oh, that I was thought that was a dope. Right. I thought that was a dope conversation. T.I. T. and Charleston White, I thought that was a real dope convo, man. Everybody had really good insight. Even people that don't have kids was in their bags. Like, no, nah, I would never. You know what I'm saying? Um, That was dope to me, too. So those are my three. Just, I'm not going to lie. I got one, and then whoever else can go. I don't know. And this, this shit almost... Shut the server down, man. But brothers is cool now, so it's all good, man. Mm-hmm. Yo, that feel in hiatus shit was just. Yo, just, I missed I that. Fly. I wasn't here. I was damned at how he was gonna say that shit when he mentioned it, though. But Bro. yeah, cause I didn't oh, even know. Was, I, I forget that, was that shit was recorded or not. What happened with that? Boom! Yeah, yeah that was no, it. that was my yeah. favorite moment at this server. That's a fact. That was my favorite moment at this goddamn <laughs> Bro, server. I can't believe I missed that. Bro, that was oh my god, god, man! Yeah, that shit was funny as hell. <laughs> Boom! Played the track for us, and then just left. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm gonna let you know. <laughs> and the server almost got shut down, man. Like. <laughs> Yo, hiatus was in his bag, man. Like that was wild, man. Yeah, You're no, dumb. they really had no reason to even be mad at each other. Like, yeah, I don't have time oh. for this. Man. I'm, I'm outside in real life. Like, Phil's just. That, that, that wasn't Kevin. Like, I let it, let it, let it. Little. Like, like, oh man. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, had to get that off. Yeah. Yo. Like, nah, nah, nah. Let him, let him. Yo, <laughs> these really have to hit the backyard, son. Like, <laughs> yeah, I got to run the water. Yeah, back on Luchi, time. Man. Luchi is the resident instigator on Is We Part on Podcast, man. Anything oh, yeah, that gets yeah. riled up here, oh, this is really going to stir the pot. Hey, that nigga be like, he be like, hey, go ahead, Cal. What do you say, Cal? Yeah. I'm going to let him talk to you like that. You gonna let it break? Talk? You let it rap? I'm like, what? It's supposed to be the view. Oh, let me talk to a cow. Talk to a cow. I'm like, Luke, you drunk too? What the hell going on, man? That's you. Hey, man, when that boy, when that boy Lucci get off that, when that boy Lucci had had his wine, his wine era. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, yeah. That man, an instigator yeah. and a liar. Two of the worst things. <laughs> <laughs> the worst uh, traits a man could, could possess. Damn, you just gonna let him call you pussy like that? Oh, my boy, Luchi, definitely. Hey, man. Luchi, the only person that could talk about soul playing for two hours straight on the podcast, man. Try to convince us it's a classic, man. Oh, Wait, my, my favorite. Uh, hold up, my my favorite uh, mobile oh, here. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna relax with this shit, bro. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> 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 Oh my god! Nah, let the brother cow go, man. Let the brother cow go. Cow, no, the cow get drunk. Shut up, man. Oh shit! Oh, oh, wow, wow, hey, man, I'm, wow, I'm just crazy. trying to take it to the next level, but man, don't do God. that. I'm just trying to. I go ahead, man. Oh, uh, <laughs> my, yeah. My favorite was the R. Kelly episode we did. <laughs> oh yeah, we just talked about that yeah. shit too. Yeah. yeah. That was yeah, wild. Man. That was classic. <laughs> yeah. And then we streamed it. We streamed the interview. Oh my god. Yo, that <laughs> shit was hilarious. What did man. he say? What did he say, Kujo? You know it's a you know it's a classic. What you know it's a cl- do you have your passports? Do you got your shots? Do you want to come back home with Rob, Rob to America? Rob. That, 
<laughs> that was cringy. Bro, what nigga bro? had a, a team of dancers with, with like, a, a cue card with 18 on it running back and forth. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. Oh, oh my God. God that shit was oh legendary. Oh, my man. God. That was, yeah, that was different, man. The comic book uh, episodes be some of the funniest shit ever because we come up with the dumbest arguments to, like, punch <laughs> niggas through, man. Like, them shits be hilarious, too, man. Because y'all be trying to make like niggas Batman powerful. being the greatest because he had the most hoes. Oh, yes. <laughs> See, see, <laughs> see. Hey man, school, hey. Bro. And by the way, I got a Batman topic. By the way, man, because I was supposed to do this, man. But there are a couple niggas that could whoop Batman ass, man. We are gonna go down the a list. Uh, who has, who, to be fair, who has in hand to hand combat? I'm, I'm, I'm talking about too. hand to hand combat. By the way, not not. Exactly. Man, mm-hmm. there's a couple niggas, man. We gonna we gonna introduce that. Who are, who are next. these niggas? That right. That nigga. That nigga. That nigga. That nigga Bane. That nigga Bane had to be on performance enhance just to kick Batman ass, man. I don't want to hear that shit. I'm gonna let you know, man. And the awesome DC. Hold up. The awesome week. When's when's the date? Friday, brother. Next Friday. I'll be. I'll be there. I bet. By the way, I wanna I wanna tell everyone if you uh if you want after the episode we're streaming Dead Heist featuring E forty and Tyrese. Oh my goodness. So, Tyrese. Yo. Wait, well, Tyrese is not in the film. That was man. nasty. That was King. nasty. Right. It just happened just now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Robbie, that was very dirty. I love it. I feel yeah. like somebody. I, I forget who uh, posted yeah. that bitch, but I actually did take my own time to go and watch that movie too. Yeah, I was the first one to post that. Like, every oh, time I watch movies, I just oh. post it, man, randomly. Like, cause it just be funny, man. Like, the, the, it just look hilarious. <laughs> they do look funny. That's like, just, we, we just, and E40 I was, and I was horribly mistaken though. <laughs> <laughs> we just lost ten subscribers. <laughs> oh man. Hey, it's like, oh, oh these niggas awesome watch so Dead Heist. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, wait, wait. I want to say this. Hey, Black, let, let me let me unsubscribe real quick. Man, I want to say, like, uh, I almost lost my damn self. self. <laughs> Y'all almost lost a podcast member. Fuck y'all. Steven Seagal is also in the uh, movie, by the way. Y'all gotta know this about Marabi. He's the only Caucasian on the pod, surrounded by brothers, man. Like <laughs> shout out to that brother, man. <laughs> top tier cringe. If, shout if out to Robbie. Robbie, man. Just, just top tier cringe and just hornball antics, man. That's all. Hamming <laughs> up unreasonably for no reason, man. Just no reason. <laughs> and, no reason. Is and making weird ass cool. arguments for Pusha T, man. Like that, that's all you have to do, cool, man. man. Stop it. <laughs> just, hey, but 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 to be fair, we keep, we keep. We keep Marabi for his skill set, ladies and gentlemen. Like, yeah. brother, be streaming everything in here, and he makes all the flyers. So, like, every crew has their token white boy that can do certain things and get things done, and that's Marabi over here. Marabi definitely yeah, is crazy. So, he is so crazy, avocado, though. I, I mean, Marabi. He avocado, is crazy, though. I mean. he's, he's definitely cringy, though. That's a fact. He uses his cable know, installing that. skills here. You know what I'm saying? His internet installing skills here. So shout out to Geek Squad and Robbie. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of an I avocado, got we got an onion. That's crazy. Yeah. I got I got I got my All right. All right. Let me let me step on that. My, Do not start my. calling me onion. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, he might he might be onion. We might have to. We might have to. Onion. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. What they better yet though? The Georgian onion. I don't even know if y'all got onions over there. The Georgian <laughs> onion. That's what we do. <laughs> but nah, I, I do. I do have. I do have. Uh, I do have a moment. Um, I think it was a pod. We probably edited it because shit went Lin F very quickly. Um. <laughs> There's a few of those. Ironically, I'm not. Right. Yeah, ironically, yeah. I wasn't involved Thank in this. Thank you, Thanos. Usually, I'm usually in there, but I was out. I was, you know, wasn't wasn't there. It was a situation where there was a card happening where there were two brothers battling. It mm. was brother JC and brother O Red, and we had mm-hmm. 
have not supporter in here of O Red. Shout out Body Bag. Body Bags was not like an O Red slam at all. Yeah. I remember this. I remember this. He got wow, to a wow, point wow. where he was he was talking to Boom, brother Boom. He said, "Now if O Red beat this nigga, you are gonna have to come back and apologize." <laughs> Boom is <laughs> muted like he is right now. Proceeded to unmute and say, nigga, I'm not going to apologize for shit. That, <laughs> that, whatever episode <laughs> that was, that was hilarious. I like that. That shit was not very good. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. When he said that, I was like, when he said that, he got me, but then I'm like, bro, if he would have said that in real life, you probably had to put the gloves on. But I'm not. <laughs> 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 I was like, damn, man. I was like, I'm not going to apologize for shit. He's not. He's not. That's good. He's not going to apologize. Definitely. I'm going to do it. <laughs> like a few niggas in here, and I respect nah, that. That also oh, reminded me uh, of Body Bags versus ODG. That was a oh, classic. Class too. <laughs> I can't talk to you, man. Yeah, I can't what? talk to you. What do you mean I can't you can't talk to me, man? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, man? I'm so tired of you guys just I'm like <laughs> just lying. Just lying. Every time ODG gets mad and I'm start saying guys, man. Are saying everybody saying nonsense, brother Cujo. All you say is nonsense, brother. Nonsense, and, and, nonsense. But I mean, you just back up this nonsense as if, like, nah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> brother's nonsense. getting nonsense. I love ODG words, man. Lie. I love ODG, bro. Lie. <laughs> you guys always lying, man. ODG get mad as right. He definitely one of one in the Discord ship for sure. <laughs> Lupe Fiasco is the best rapper it's cool, alive. Cool, it's cool. Oh, mm, that right. dude got a, so he got a subscription of Oats. That's just crazy. <laughs> nah, nah, we're not shitting on Oats, bro. Yeah, one That's time we're making up, man. A lot of people pop to your vegan. breakfast. This brother was talking about eating vegan poppy seeds, man. I was like, what, 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 what are you talking about, man? What, 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 what type of regimen y'all got in uh, UK, man? Like, like, what type of food plan is that? Vegan poppy seeds, man. All <laughs> right, man. Okay, man. Whole wheat vegan oh, bread, gosh. man. I was like, okay. I'm, I guess, I'm, brother. Well, go ahead, Lucci. I know you say you got a moment, brother. Um. First, I just want to thank y'all, bro. Like, uh, oh yeah, this shit could like nigga said, man. This shit could have went left a couple of times, but you know, because of you, brother. It's all good. <laughs> Yeah, you the instigator. You know, sometimes it, it and takes, you know, nah, this, uh, sometimes it takes those. Sometimes it takes those backbones to keep shit together, bro. And I know we all had our disagreements and shit or whatever, but you know, <clears throat> it all came back around to all funds and games and shit or whatever. But at the end of the day, man, I think my we had all kind of little cringy moments and shit, like you know, from Cosby to Will <laughs> to the brother trying to cast R. Kelly, uh, <laughs> mystical. I mean, oh. we had to put our ten for head on <laughs> a few times. <laughs> you don't. Nah, hey, nah, you don't but, have uh, to cancel a nigga that's in prison. Nah, 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 hey, I I mean, ah, come yeah, on, Lucy. man. No, let me get this out the way, bro. See what I'm saying? We gonna again, go man. to overtime, bro. Go. God. <laughs> Yo, Lucy hey, just reminded hey, me of like, another moment. Hey, was the hey, flat Earth episode? Oh, that was a classic. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, bro. They well, lied on me. Throwing bro. questions around. I, like, what you bro. Saying? <laughs> <laughs> I got another one. They lied on me, bro. We just fucking up nah. Lucy's sentimental moment and shit, man. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Okay. <laughs> now we good, bro. I just want to say they lied on Bill. They still lying on Bill. <laughs> and oh, I think, oh, uh, <laughs> nah, nah, but I think my most, uh, my favorite uh, episode was the the one clip that we do got uh, asking about battle rap pussy. I don't know if y'all talked about it. Already. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, we was acting about who pussy stinks in battle rap, bro. And right. The brother Boom. I was thinking about that one too. He gave the brother Boom an isolation, bro, like a three minute rant. <laughs> You know, and he brought up the goat, bro. Jazz the rap. Bro. I thought that was the most funniest <laughs> shit. Was that a, was that a suspicious case, Sippers? 
bro. Yeah, it's a sophisticated sip of episode. The yeah, first I think episode. that was one of them. Oh, my no, God. I gotta, go. I gotta go listen to them, John. Duh, I'm gonna show them my like, That yes, shit yes. was so funny, bro. I was about to say, <laughs> I, I, put, I, I, I didn't think that we actually put that one out or not. Cause yeah, <laughs> we wrong. put it out, man. Nah, <laughs> that shit, that was funny. <laughs> we... They oh, brought it there all oh. though, bro. That brother there convinced me to clip that shit, bro. I know it was all for personal gain. You know, I, I let him talk <laughs> me into it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, you know, thank you, bro. You ain't slick, I'm bro. I'm going to smoke it on that episode, bro. It's right there. I'll post it in the chat, bro. Oh, it's I'm like gonna, a I'm two, three minute though, clip, um, bro. One of them, yeah, one of them episodes I noticed, uh, Y'all had the screen where people can see the, uh, what y'all posting in the chat. We'll be laughing at yeah, They can see us talking and shit. They see the Discord. Y'all had it in the screen. Mm. Y'all should do that more. We should uh, do that more often so people can actually see who's talking, see who's posting hey. shit so they can get the new Body bag, body bag. It's a, it's a new year. Stay tuned for developments and details, brother. We, we, oh, <laughs> we got That's fire, body bag. Shit, I like that. Salute Let's to fellow it. content creator as well. You know what I'm saying? Body That's bag, man. You know what I'm saying? Audio. Uh, Rob- Robin in the building. Yeah, audio mm-hmm. hydration, man. Y'all tune in, man. Like, as, as much as we need all the subscribers we can get, all the followers we can get, man, like, like that bro really be putting out 40, you know what I'm saying, sometimes 50-minute album reviews, man. Like, Really, just focus on hip hop for the essence of it, man. Breaking shit down to a science, man. So, go ahead, subscribe to Audio Hydration, man. We're gonna put the link in the bio, man. You know what I'm saying? Description box, all that. Tune in to the brother, man. So, yeah, man. Uh, I don't know how we didn't bring up the 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 episode of Ty. You know what I'm saying? Getting his interview skills on, man. Like, um, when, when, when what's the name was here, man? King was here. Uh. I think uh, two oh, battles was was here. in the building. Yeah, yeah, man, that shit, yeah. that shit was fire, man. Like, mm. brother Ty was really asking some some dope questions, man. And yeah, that was one of the, the one of the best best episodes, man. Lucci, man, that conspiracy yeah. episode about Pac, man, was was wild, man. Like, oh. <laughs> you think <laughs> of is just like. <laughs> Is ridiculous, man. Like a pot, exactly. Pot, 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 with the rims, yeah. With the rims, with the rims. Boom was really <laughs> on your ass, man. Like, oh, <laughs> man. I think a boom was like, you got the picture of the rims. With the rims, <laughs> brother. If you look at the autopsy, Low brother. Key. No exit, <laughs> <room, brother. laughs> no brother. Was trying to, hey, no evidence that threw out that, brother. Brother just asked for the rims, like, bro. It doesn't matter how proof either. Oh, hold up, bro. I got one more, man. And hey, we, uh, Cujo, we got this probably gonna break the bill. We can end it after this. Bro. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That brother couldn't tell us if there were four Giatos. He couldn't tell us if there were stocks, folks, <laughs> nothing. Uh, <laughs> man, bro. But was that a yep. sophisticated sipper show we did? I think with it was, first, yeah. With, with, the first was. <clears throat> with the oh, first yeah, lady? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was wild. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that cringy bag we got into, man. We be talking about women in here, bro. It be some of the most wild shit, man. Like that episode was crazy, bro. Talking about fucking fat bitches and it just wow. Uh, uh, the you was here, buddy. Yeah, see that because I know because when we talk about women, I just sometimes I'd be cool, but sometimes I'd be really going off because bitches be pissing me off. See, I'm about to chill right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we did interview Rich, man. <laughs> Did interview Rich yeah. Muffy voice ass man. I forgot about that shit, man. Yeah. Like, nah, um, no, what did he say? What did he say? Bro said, yeah, they call me said green in, eyes. in the streets, in green the streets, eyes. They call me green eyes. They call, they call me green, green eyes. eyes. <laughs> 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 yeah, in the streets, they call me green eyes. <laughs> no, that green eyes shit got over. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the niggas, street. niggas was not dropping that shit. <laughs> yeah, the streets be. They call me Green Eyes, B. Yeah, like I know Rex. Smoke. You know what I'm saying? Smoke this, <laughs> my 
Like, all right. 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 This nigga battled Rex. Like, this nigga. Like... <laughs> I'm from home. That was a dope episode. Like, that was man. a dope episode, man. Way several voice sounding ass, man. But I don't know wherever Rich is at, man. Salute to Rich, man. You know what I'm saying? Kind of been MIA, man. But salute to bro, Rich, man. The bro yeah, is it. I don't know what happened, man. He disappeared after that episode, man. Like, <laughs> he kind of punched him off the road with that green eye. <laughs> nah. Kujo, don't do that. I'm not, not, I'm not, no, I'm not going to say that we did that shit, but that nigga, he's cool, man, but <laughs> that shit was you let, us, you let us... Nah, I was saying that was your that was your northeastern cousin. You let us get down on him. You let us jump him like right. don't, do, don't say why he left. You let us do that to him. Green eyes, green like nah, nah, your brother. Yo, they go that nigga green eyes, wild. B. Nah, yeah. come on, that, 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 that brother changed his name and shit. Like, what they call you green? Word, B. Oh, yeah, take that out the wrong inter- Ty interviewed Sebastian too. I think oh, I think yeah. I interviewed Sebastian where he was like I, he's he yeah. said, I don't I don't, I don't pay I don't pay no rappers what? who don't kick the bucket B. And I think <laughs> his brothers pushing daisies. I don't paint no dead rappers friend. like oh my god we get <laughs> wasn't that like around the same time or wasn't that the same episode type shit? I think no, yeah. I think no, I, I, I think from the episode. Different episode. Yeah, different episode. Before we head oh, out of okay. here, man, like yeah, Sebastian is also mm-hmm. a content creator, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, me, Marabi, and Sebastian, man, we are the New Jerusalem crew. You know what I'm saying? Only, only, only brothers from Jersey in here. So I always got to support Jersey, bro. Is a movie connoisseur. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, plug the channel real quick, quick, man. Brother plug is the channel bite, real quick, but it is, it is, it is good content, oh, man. But I'm, I'm gonna let y'all know, man. If it ain't if it ain't anything Corsese, like like Scorsese or anything like that, the brother's going to dismiss it, man. I'm just letting you know this right now. <laughs> do not get mad at us for sending you over to his channel. We got nothing to do with that. Sebastian is his own man. You know what I'm saying? The brother's an artist. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he's, a, he's a YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? So... And, uh, yeah, man, just dope brother overall, man. You know what I'm saying? He still wears snapbacks and, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, nice starter work. jackets. But that's what old niggas wear, man, you know. but he, his, his his channel is called The Pardon My Back Show, all spelled correctly, The Pardon My Back Show. You know what I'm saying? saying? I don't necessarily mm-hmm. know if that's a pause or not. He is from up, he is from up top, you know what I'm saying? But Pardon My Back Show is crazy. Oh, see, it, it, it sounds crazy because if you say it, I thought you were saying uh, his show was called A Part of My Back Show. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, like, nah, this you said it so slow, you was breaking down the syllables, and I'm like, ah, oh, nah, who is this nigga? This cringe. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, oh, no, I see what you're saying. I'm all right, man. Uh, we finna head out now, man. I ain't gonna lie. We finna uh after this, really, we finna tune into the uh to the movie premiere of uh Dead Heist. You know what I'm saying? Um, bro. Oh, we're gonna be oh, oh, Jo, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold yeah, on, hold yeah, on. Yeah. Let me let me throw this out because we oh, yeah. we're gonna step over it real quick. I did have a topic because the award show just happened. First off, I want to say shout out to number one, Auntie herself. Um, you know what I'm saying. Queen Mother Angela Bassett for being the only person in Marvel Cinematic History to actually win a Best Supporting Role for her portrayal of Queen Mother in Black Panther. Bye. Um, also, I want to give a quick shout out who also won awards. My nigga, everybody hates Chris. Um, forget your name, Tyler, your real name, brother. I know Tyler you're there. James William. Thank you, Tyler James Williams. Look at Bruce. Yeah. Savant. He won as well. No as, he uh, not outlived Brunson. <laughs> um, exactly. He, Brunson for their parts in Abbott Elementary. They also won. But my topic right. for tonight that we have to let go of, you know what I'm saying, for time constraints, I just wanted to ask if dark comedy is truly gone now. Because in the highly like censored era that we're in, where it comes to comedy, uh, cause uh, Carmichael, Cujo don't like him. Jared, I think Gerard Carmichael. 
Like, what movies, what, what movies you mean by dark comedy? Like, it's like shit like 21 Jump Street, shit like that? No, no, no. Like, dark comedy mm-hmm. being like, Carmichael is a dark, he's a dark comedian. Dave Chappelle has dark comedian. Burr is a dark comedian. Like, Brother Sue, like, leaned heavily on satirical, really eclectic views on um, things. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I mean, we can't answer, we can't answer it now. We kind of out of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I do got some answers. Next week. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely yeah. next week, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just want to let y'all think about that. But yeah, go ahead, take us out of here, Kujo. You got it, brother. Yeah, yeah, man. Listen, man. I, I keep telling y'all, man. This, this is like the fifteenth, sixteenth classic I got, man. I, I'm pretty much the resident host from now on, man. None of y'all brothers could do this shit like I do, man. So it don't even matter, <laughs> bro. Fuck y'all, say King. And respectfully, yeah, man. Know. Niggas ain't me, man. And I love y'all brothers either way. The legend is out. The brothers is out. Izzy Pond is out. You see what he did oh, there? David, he tried yeah. to David Ruffin. Nigga. Yeah. Right. Right. David Ruffin. Is nigga. Oh. Izzy Pond, man. We out. All right, Luchi.